Wow, you do that like <laughs> right on time. We good? Okay, here we go. Uh, sorry we're a little late, guys. Um, welcome to episode 9 of NPRC Talk, brought to you by 707 Streetcars. Uh, as always is with me, uh, my co-host, we got Randy Vieira and Ricky Bellotti. Um, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Um, hi, everybody. <laughs> and uh, we're here to do, I think, a really cool episode tonight. <laughs> Um, we have obviously you know, our, our normal shout outs to give, um, and we have um, some really exciting news. We have one little tech thing we're going to do. The biggest thing I see that I want to help people out with because I'm sponsored by RCRI is they're buying these bars, and a lot of this will apply to like Jake's Performance Hobbies bars and stuff like that. Um, is that some of the parts that we use don't just bolt right onto the car and we're going to show you how to put that together tonight um, so that you can make the bar straight and stuff. So that's what we're going to do for tech. Um, but we have some really big announcements. Um, and we also, what else we got going on? We have our 500 member giveaway. Okay. And then the photo contest. The banner. The banner contest. Okay. And then, Randy, can you tell everybody really quick what it is we're giving away for our first raffle? Now, for the first raffle, we're going to start off with something kind of mediocre and see how it kind of works out. We had an overwhelming amount. How many people did we have? I think the last one I had 197. 197 people. <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot of people. It's been a lot of work keeping up. Everybody's been chiming in so fast. So, Randy, tell us what they're going to win. A uh, set of RCRI bars. A set of... 10 inch RCRI bars, uh, full package, brand new from RCRI. Um, and uh, this is the sides and all the mounts and the hardware and everything that you need uh, to, to have a really nice wheelie bar. So um, it's what we run on our cars and they, man, they just work really, really good. Um, I've used other bars and a lot of the other bars are, are a little thin for me. I like a thick bar. Um, and we're gonna give them away to you guys tonight. So one lucky person that's watching, or you know, we're gonna start off with a small, um, a small gift to give away in this raffle. And uh, yeah, I, I hope somebody can can use it, and, and somebody that you know wins it can uh, can put it to use and win some races with it. So um, without with that or without further ado, um, I want to give some shout outs. The first shout out I want to give to. It's the girl on the other side of the phone, Jamie Garlop. She comes out here. Yeah, there she is, deuces. Uh, and uh, I met Jamie through Randy. She's come out and watched the, some of the shows, or I mean, a couple of the races with David and, and Randy. And uh, and she just she helps us out with this filming, and she puts up with a lot of our crap. So thank you, Jamie. You're welcome. Um, next, I want to uh, I want to give a huge shout out to Troy Schroeder of Phantom. If you don't have some Phantom products, get you some Phantom products, man. I'm telling you guys. I've used a lot of stuff over the years, and there is a lot of other good stuff out there. There really is, and if you choose to go that route, that's fine. But um, if you want to try and do what we're doing here, uh, what we're doing with some of the eight-scale buggies and how they're just on full tilt, I mean, go to Phantom, check out their batteries, their motors. they got speed controls. Uh, he's got charging uh, tethers. He's got uh, power supplies. He's got pretty much everything but the car. You know, um, and it's all just top notch stuff. I mean, it's, it's, there's a reason why we use it because we love it. So thank you, Troy Schroeder. Um, any of you guys want to give some of these shout outs? Yeah, I got uh, Milo from uh, Flashbacks. I'll get to that. That's, that's going to be. <laughs> he just told him. Go for it. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Well, that's why I pointed this so you can, like, maybe read on this. This is the script. You have to go in order. <laughs> A to Z. Oh, I couldn't turn left. I couldn't turn right. <laughs> so anyway, um, the next thing I want to do is I want to give a huge shout out. This is actually an empty box because that motor's in my car. Um, I want to give a huge shout out and say God bless all the military and the men and women of the uh, fire departments across the country and the police departments and um, at the uh, the hospitals and stuff, um, the nurses and stuff that are. Um, um, the nurses and stuff that uh, are out there fighting this horrible thing that the country's going through. Um, I see it getting better here in the next little while. So everybody who's watching, if you're having hard times from COVID-19 coronavirus uh, thing that's going on here, uh, keep your chin up and keep on trucking. And there are uh, brighter days ahead of us. So um, I want to give a huge shout out to Steve Negri at RCRI, RC Racing Innovations. Um, this guy uh, reached out to us and he's been absolutely awesome to us. 
Um, you know, we're, we, we've helped bring a chassis back that, uh, from what I hear is selling like, like gangbusters. It's, 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 it's hard to keep up with all the orders and the Corona thing going on. Um, so he's also the one that donated the wheelie bars. He's also, giveaway. yes, yes. He's also the gentleman that donated the wheelie bars for the giveaway. So everybody, you know, hopefully that's watching, um, there, you know, you guys are all on the list of uh, the, the, the actual, um, the posting has ended, so you cannot uh, enter the the, uh, the contest any longer. Um, but this is the man that made that possible for our first one. Uh, we want to get into some bigger raffles and give some bigger stuff away, um, but we need to grow this just a little bit more before we do that. Um, so again, thank you to Steve Negri of RCRI, RC Racing Innovations, chassis, they make all kinds of stuff, whether it's, I mean, anything for drag racing. So whether it's a one cell solid axle car, uh, or, or, uh, yeah, I mean, wheelie bars and, and he's got two different, three different slash chassis Don't out. that drag bike. That was, that was yeah. Yeah. He's got a, 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 what, a carbon fiber, yeah. a carbon fiber drag bike kit. Um, this is just stuff that is just second to none. It's top quality. You know, when you think race car, I'm like, you know, you think of race car and you see this and you see that and then you're like yes that's the one you know and that's what happened to me three years ago and i've just dominated with it so um big shout out to steve steve thank you for the uh the the kick down for the raffle um that was really nice of him um i want to give a quick shout out to kelly purdy of petaluma muffler works uh if you need exhaust done you're in sonoma county northern california go by and see kelly um, and uh, he'll hook you up whether you're driving a Ferrari or a tractor. He can get your exhaust uh, either upgraded or outfitted or repaired um, in a timely fashion. So, uh, Jake Rosen at Jake's Performance Hobbies, 707 586 3375. Say it with me 707 586 3375. <laughs> Give him a call. Jake does everybody in California. He's still open. Uh, he's open Monday through Friday. Uh, ten Monday through Monday through Saturday, six days a week, uh, ten to one p.m. Uh, to actually deliver stuff out of the store. I believe to people at the curb. Um, everything's top notch, safe. Um, uh, as far as cleanliness, that's why Jake is doing this. But he's also staying open so that he can help some of the RC racers in the county and across the nation. And that's right. I mean, across the nation. The guy. If you get a hold of the guy through, um, I believe his uh, his. Hold on is jph racing 001 at gmail i think is it gmail maybe somebody can comment but get a hold of them there jake rosen jake's I'll performance hobbies jake's performance hobbies.com uh you can order anything you want you can call you'll get number one service i mean or you know uh, uh service that is second to none um these guys don't fool around and here's something that i've never mentioned i mentioned jake's a lot Jake isn't just a hobby shop in our local town that keeps uh, uh, drag stuff in stock. So whether you've got a buggy or a crawler or or a, or a helicopter or a plane, he's got boats, he's got <clears throat> kites, he's got he's he's it's just an awesome little store. And you guys got to remember, we got it, we got to support the little guys right now. And Jake's one of them. And you know, if you guys need a part and you can't get it or someone's out of stock, give Jake a call at 707-586-3375, Monday through Saturday, 10 to 1 p.m. or at JPH. Racing 001 at AOL. AOL.com. AOL. Okay, right, right here on my PayPal, ready to go. Tell him about that. You can't hear it anymore. See, it's on my PayPal. Crack the door go. a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, Randy. Thank you. I remember we were talking to Jake about that one time why he still has an AOL website, uh, email. Yeah, I need to get on that, Jake. <laughs> you know why? The same reason why I've had the same phone number for 12 years. I know way too many people in the racing How long industry have you had yours? And... Like 20? Oh. So, anyway. Forever. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to, um, God, I don't want to murder his name, Robert Knighton. And, 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 I don't know, I like his last name because it starts with Knight, Michael Knight, Knight Industries. Anyway, um, Robert Knighton, and he is one of the guys from KV Kings. Um, this guy uh, was really helpful. I've been wanting to buy a dyno. Uh, I was ready to fork down the cash to have this company build me one. I didn't get the best customer service, so I ended up backing out because I just it just it's just wasn't something I wanted to to dive into with this gentleman. Um, and 
This guy has reached out to me and given me schematics and showed me how to build one of these cool dynos that you guys are seeing, an actual chassis dyno with heads up display and stuff. So 707 uh, street cars will be offering in the next month full dyno tuning. So if you want to, you know, take out just a couple bucks and come in with me for an hour and do 10 or 12 hits on the car um, and, and I'll sit there and I'll help you adjust the car and see if we can get more horsepower and more torque and more mile per hour, hour out of it. Um, that is something that we will be offering soon. So get a hold of me for that. Um, uh, thank you again, Robert, um, with KB Kings. Um, I also want to give a huge shout out to our, our, our sister County, Lake County, right? Um, I want to mention them. These are a great, uh, uh, set of guys that started racing with us at the beginning of last season. Uh, they come down to see what we're doing, see what we're running. Uh, we've been up there for cash days with them. Um, and, uh, and they're just a great group of guys and that's what this is all about is having fun and making friends. So I want to give a shout out to, uh, to everybody up in Lake County. Um, I want to give two more shouts out, but these shout outs are a little bit more complicated because they also have to do with our new amount announcements. Um, the first shout out we want to give to is to Paul Peterson, shark bodies. We're going to be going over it. They're taking pre-orders. I got, that's where my, where's my phone at? Right here. Okay. <laughs> that's what I'm going to use my phone for. I, have, I don't have all the bodies here. They'll be here this week um, to actually show you guys, but you guys can start taking orders now. Uh, Paul Peterson at Shark Bodies or Shark uh, RC Bodies dot com. Uh, you can also find Paul Peterson uh, on my Facebook page and um, and you can reach out to him and order through him. But, uh, you know, if anything, actually, I need to see my phone because I got, I have all their information there. Um, and then I'll give you the one for, uh, um, for Milo. So, Troy, Paul. Okay. So. Are they really seeing frozen? Oh, no, yeah. It's snowing <laughs> yeah. out there. Okay, so the best way is have them message me on Facebook or email sharkbodies at yahoo.com. Uh, I'm sorry, sharkrcbodies at yahoo.com. Uh, with the items they want, the body name, and their PayPal address, or they can message me if they want to do a credit card. PayPal works better for me. But do take cards too. Shipping is $18.99 to the West Coast and Florida, $15.99 everywhere else. So um, we're going to get into that. The other, um, <laughs> what's that? People are commenting, watching Frozen. Yeah, so this is uh, what he The did. Disney so signal. Love the background music. So anyway, um, here's, let me, this is really important, guys. So for three years now, I've been running the Parma Body. Um, I haven't been using Parma body products for three years. I've been using them for probably 30. Everybody who's into RC cars or touched the sport at one time um, has known Parma um, in some way or another. Uh, they do slot cars. They've done RC dirt oval bodies and stuff for 35 years or whatever. I don't know what's going on with them, but it started about a year ago. Nobody could get bodies. Um, I scrambled all of a sudden. My local hobby shop was smart and fast enough when they did make some, but I'd wait them for them for about four months to get some in. Um, and I bought up two. I didn't want to buy it more because there's other guys that wanted them too. Um, and then I built another car and then I painted the gunslinger here and now I'm out of bodies and I try and get more and I don't know infinitively about Parma and if, if they're having problems because of COVID-19 and that's hurt them in any way. But at this point, as much as I love and will always love and respect and take my hat off for Parma RC products, um, they're not from my race schedule. Um, it's just not... It's not very um, reliable right now, so I needed to do something. Now, um, there's three main hubs, I think, of RC bodies in the drag racing world. There's uh, Parma, there's J Concepts, and there's Proline, okay? Um, I'm a Ford guy. 90% of what these guys are making is Chevy stuff, which is okay. It's great looking stuff. Um, I wanted a Ford body, and that's why I ran the Parma ones. Um, they're a little bit wider, um, but that's why I ran them. Um, and so when I heard that, you know, I couldn't get bodies and Parma, I might, might or might not be having problems. I don't know. I hope they're not Parma. If anybody get this back to you, I hope to God. I wish I could help you guys if you are in trouble. Uh, I hope you're not. I hope we can see right from you guys, right, or we'll see from you guys right after COVID-19 and the country opens back up. But we're not here to talk about that tonight. We're here to talk about what we're moving to. 
And what we're moving to is a shout out to Paul Peterson for these new bodies. I have reached out to him. This is a guy that makes bodies in the dirt oval world, okay? And I really like the designs of them. And I, and I talked to him and I contacted him. And I said, you know, with a couple tweaks, I think we could really flood the market with these and give the guys, I want to bring you guys more options and not just, you know, another uh, El Camino body or another uh, Ford Torino body. I wanted to be, you know, bring you guys something that was cutting edge, something that makes people go, wow, um, something that works better, that's lighter, it cuts to the air better. Uh, it's, it's just an all around better design. And I think that's what Paul uh, has come up with. Um, we've made some tweaks to it. Um, the bodies are going to be uh, 040 instead of 060, so they're exactly the same weight as the Parma bodies. Um, I don't know the weight on some of the Proline bodies and stuff. Um, they are the exact. They're the exact same width, exact same width as the the Parma body here. Okay, this is one of the new Shark bodies. This is another new Shark body. We'll get into that in a second. Um, so what's going to happen is right now he's making. The first run. The first run consists of the Cadillac CTS, okay? CTSV. CTS Elemento P, and the <laughs> CTSV. Okay, the CTSV by Cadillac. That's one of the bodies that's going to be made first, and the S550 um, Boss body, which is this body right here. Okay. Um, I believe this one's called the Villain. Killer V. The Killer V. Oh, yes. The Villain is the uh, the Mopar one. Um, one of the most ones. Let me show some pictures. Okay, so in all, here we go. You're listening? Okay. There's going to be five bodies that Paul's going to be producing, and we're going to be pushing like gangbusters and hopefully beating people left and right so that other people join the, the bandwagon. And that is, we're going to start with the Mustang and the Cadillac. And then in the next week and a half or so, he'll start producing the other two or other three bodies. The first body he's going to produce after those two is going to be the Dodge Challenger. So right off the bat, we have a Ford, we have a Chevy, we have a Dodge. Then he's going to introduce two other GM products in the following couple weeks, which is being the Chevy Camaro, which is actually for a Camaro. It's a good looking body. It looks like it's shaped right, you know, and that's I why I love it. Though. And a Monte Carlo. <laughs> so let me show you guys some pictures. Jamie, can you tell me if you can see these? About an 87 Monte um, Carlo, to be exact. Here is, here is the, um, this is the, the Chevy Camaro. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one of the bodies, and it's the same width and everything of these. Um, and once people start buying them, and we got a bunch of customers that start cutting them out and painting them in the next couple of weeks, and they're mounted and stuff, we will have a, 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 a segment on this show about about um, you know how we mounted ours and why we did what we did and how we can you know perfect the design even more if it's even possible because these are awesome bodies. Your screen uh, oh, back. I'm sorry, I'm holding up a black screen. <laughs> no, only for a second. Um, the next one is going to be. The Dodge Challenger. I like the purple. And I actually have two pictures of this. There's a the Dodge Challenger again. Oh yeah. Okay. And then, now this this last picture is of the body without the tweaks and still in a dirt oval form. But this is the exact nose and everything that this car will have. And this is the, the 86 or something. 87, Eight, 80, Monte, Carlo SS. 87 Monte Carlo. So these are the five new drag bodies that we've reached out to this Paul guy and we've made an agreement. We've, we've made some deals with him and we're like, dude, we got to get these out there. You know, you're, you're going to be making some cash and doing your thing, but man, we want our guys to have some more options here. And these aren't just going to be a, another body for people to cut and mount and go out and break. These are race car bodies. I mean, these, these, I mean, you could do whatever you want with it, but these bodies are designed to do one thing and one thing only. And that's win. Now, there's going to be some people out there that might be naysayers because the bodies aren't, you know, super detailed in some areas because we didn't want them detailed in those areas. Um, we wanted it to be perfectly flat so the wind goes by. And there's reasons why we, we, we chose this body there. The reasons are all over the bodies. So with that being said, um, sharkrcbodies.com, get a hold of Paul. These are the bodies again that we're going to be doing. We got the Mustang. We got the Cadillac. Randy, you want to show them the Cadillac? Now, I want to say, as far Smile. as details and stuff, when one of these is all done, oh, you know what? Check this out. 
I have a picture of the Cadillac. Check that out. Tell me that thing isn't looking bitching. And she's going to be a bad son of a gun. Oh, yeah. Okay? That's this body here. And we're also going to be producing the Chevy Camaro. Or Paul will be producing the Chevy Camaro. The Dodge Challenger. And the Monte Carlo. Okay, so huge stuff here. Huge, right? Um, the next shout out, um, I believe had first contact with, with, oh, you want that back up there? <laughs> I can't remember, that's, a, that's okay. some information to throw down. That's okay. Uh, I, want, I want, you know, the guys that are... Uh, I don't want to be correct, so... So basically the way we're doing it is, is um, you know, it's, it's plain and simple. We have a pretty good platform here. Um, there are certain products we like, and we've been super lucky to have the products, the, 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 the people running these companies of the products we like reach out to us and say, hey, we would like to, to do something with you. We want to have some of our products on your show. Um, we have a huge format. Um, I've never in 35 years seen any aspect or um, um, kind of RC car grow like the NPRC family is across the nation. It's like wildfire. It's it's It's... It's uh, it's international at this point. It's in other. It's in Australia. I mean, they're doing it down there. They're following us. If anybody out there from Australia, hi guys. Um, but uh, and and that's that's what we're doing tonight. Is we want to showcase these bodies. We wanted to bring these to you guys. That was our that was our thing. I you know I got a hold of Ricky and I got a hold of Randy and I said, dude, you're not gonna believe this. I finally got a hold of a body guy who listened to me and already has dope designs with a little bit of you know sprinkling from us. You know from for the drag world. Um, I think we got some winners here. These are the bodies we're gonna be using. These things cut through the air and make the car handle right off the bat. The testing we done with this car. With this body, now believe me, this is still an 060 body. That's why we didn't end up leaving it on the race car because it was just too heavy. Well, that's not going to be the, the 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 point anymore. Anybody who's anybody who's run one of these cars or just run one or been running them for years, you know that when you're on a hell of a hit and you're making a pass and you're rotating the earth, if even with your front wheels touching, if the car's set up perfect, your if you if your car goes off a little in the middle of a race, you don't have time for an adjustment. You got to steer that thing. You're sawing on that wheel. And imagine having a car that did that exact same pass, probably better because the characteristics of the, the aerodynamics are better, but a car that would handle like it was a, a mod sedan on a prep on-road course. I mean, if, if it goes off a little just tink and it's back there. So to have that feature in the body and have that, 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 that body enable the car to do that is huge. That's a game changer right there. Um, you're not gaining any weight. I think that once these are cut out, I, I, my bet is on, because these are more square and stuff, that these are going to be lighter. So um, there's also something really, really cool. I want everybody at home to watch this. Now, we've had a lot of discussion about our big... Wing. Wangs. Our big wangs. <laughs> We're the wang gang, right? Oh. That people hate them. We got the whole nation behind us building them. Uh, I think said. another couple companies, there's a, what, Underground Wings? Undercover or, Wings. Undercover Wings. They've popped up out of nowhere wings and they're making work. wings. But ain't nobody got a spoiler like this. Now check this out. <laughs> Listen really close. This right here, these are your stock side dams. These are 100% water jetted. Okay, this kit is $13.99, I believe, what I'm about to show you. And this is basically mimicked after exactly what I made here. Except for one thing, they're not all oh, they're not all hand cut. These are these are all water jetted, so the pieces are perfect. Um, this comes with the kit, your two sides. You ready for this? Here's your back deck spoiler. See that? Three inches, exactly. Well, what if you don't need all that downforce and you want to frogging or what well, you want to sorry my, my bad frogging. I, frogging. okay i said frogging <laughs> and not bad word let's say you want to take a little downforce out of it you want to adjust the, the angle of the spoiler anything you want to do check this out it's completely adjustable it's slotted you can do whatever you want with it um and then we're also going to include some little 90s so that this can go on or on or on, or on. So this wing is gonna be adjustable, and you know what? <clears throat> Ain't nobody doing this stuff. This is innovative stuff here. Uh, this is a, you know, at first I was like, mm, a two-piece wing, but then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna put one of those on my car when we get them from Paul. I mean, that that looks, I mean, 
So I got three extra nylon screws worth of weight. That's like not even a half a gram. So that's nothing. Um, but other than that, this is the exact S, you know, uh, type design. And this, check this out. One last part that is the, just the, the little ball that's on the stem of the cherry on the Sunday. This wing kit or the smaller one that doesn't do this for cheaper, I think they're $10.99 or $11.99, something like that. Um, all the five bodies we're gonna release, what body will this fit? Is this only for the Mustang? Oh. It'll fit all of them. So look, this is, he sent, he sent me this, Paul, Paul, if you're out there, you're a genius. Paul sent me this for my Mustang body. This is what it's going on. It's one of the S550 Mustangs, okay? That's, that's what is gonna, this is all gonna be gone and it's gonna be this guy on there, okay? Now, if you come over here to the Cadillac, it's the exact same everything. Wow. Where's your wow face? Good job. <laughs> and these cars, they don't have a super detail. That's exactly what the real car has, a rear bumper, but they do have a back. If you're a guy that wants one of these bodies and you want the, the back back there, you don't want to listen to anybody about airflow or anything like that, and you're just dead set on having a trunk uh, or a back of the car, got it back. has a back. It has a back on it. So um, <laughs> you can uh, cut it an inch or, or up to about two and a half inches down flat and leave that. Or you can do what we're gonna do and cut up high to let airflow come out, because these are race cars. Or you can come up at an angle back here on the back of the on the back of the, the, the core panel and come around this way and have some kind of step out like a bumper. I mean, you know, it's it's really the back end of this car, the re another reason why I liked it is because the back end of the car is again, it's kind of like a, a blank canvas. You want a spoiler? You don't want a spoiler? You want a long one? You want a short one? You want a tall one? You want a fat one? You want a green one? You want a purple one? I mean, whatever you want, it's there. So this is the new stuff right here. SharkRCBodies.com. If you don't have one of these, hop over to his website, contact Paul Peterson, Get a hold of him and get yourself one of these because you know what? If, if, if all goes as planned, we're going to take these cars out to all the races near and far that we go to this year. And uh, this wing is going to be on the back of my car when I am winning races. So, the next shout out we want to get to. Um, it sounds like my neighbors just came out and they're yelling and screaming and now they're leaving. So, yeah. Aye, aye, aye. If you could pan the, the camera to the big sticker on the on the UTV over there. Proudly brought to you by Phantom RC Racing Products. www.fanracing.com. I thought you were yeah. going to do the Ricky yeah. Bobby comment. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get out this next shout out. This is, so yes, um, I was brought on by Shark RC. Um, he's a little company. He could do all three of us right now. I'm the one that reached out to him, and that's how it happened. Um, all my guys, um, hopefully by next episode, we're going to have all the bodies to show you guys all at once. Um, and um, they're going to immediately go onto the cars. And uh, that's what we're going to be racing. That's what we're going to be tuning with. That's what we're going to be dialing in, and we're, we're going to be winning with. Um, so again, uh, sharkrcbodies.com, new sponsor, huge news, new bodies. No one's ever seen them. They're totally gonna work, get you one. Um, really, I mean, I, I mean I, I'm just blown away. I cannot in the English language explain to you guys how big this is right here. These are bodies that were meant to be rockets. Um, and you know, these bodies are gonna cost you a little bit more um, than a $40 Pro-Line body that comes with a you know, molded rear wing that you can cut out. And if you like that kind of stuff, cool. I want a wing that, you know, comes in an extra $10 kit that actually does something and, and works. And is it of my design all ready to go? Oh my God, are you, it does not gonna take me four hours to make a wing anymore. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to bring one part overnight to work so I can use the metal brake at work. I mean, this is huge for me. So sharkrcbodies.com, go talk to Paul, get you one. Um, and let's get into the next sponsor that has taken all three of us that I think I want to say Randy Vieira really laid the groundwork with down. Um, tell me about the young man's name that reached out to us. Milo Carvalho with Flash Packs. Milo Carvalho, that's our next uh, shout out. Take it away, Randy. Um, yeah, Milo contacted me, asked, if, uh, asked us if we wanted to check out his product, what he had. Um, I said, sure, send us a couple, we'll check it out, then we'll go from there. And what did I do last and, weekend? Uh, beat the crap out of it. Okay, what did you do last weekend? I, I wailed on it. Okay, and what did Randy do? Ricky. Or Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you, like, do something about this R stuff? Should we go uh, by middle names? Everyone saw the videos. Yep. Of our cars. <laughs> and what they do? They ripped. 
Oh man, they ripped. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so we have, you know, we've been using Mamba Cat Packs for a long time. Ronald Glover makes awesome products. You know, if, you, if, you, if you're in the Mamba uh, and, and that's the way you want to go, awesome. Um, I, you know, I have a couple of them still floating around. I've actually changed all my drag cars over to the new Flash Pack. And why did I t change it to the Flash Pack? Because it works. It really does, guys. I mean, the, 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 the quality of the pack and the data that we're logging out of the car's from the pack change, um, the proof is in the pudding, and we're very, very happy to announce that all three of us have been taken on by Flash Packs. Um, we want to uh, tell us a little bit, Randy, about how you can get them, where you can get them, who you contact. Uh, you talk, contact Milo Carvalho on. Uh, there's actually a Facebook page for Flash Packs. The uh, you can go you're looking for this insignia right here. Everything on the page is red. This is what he's got going. He's okay. got. Packs for everything. Yeah, I mean packs for everything. He's got two S packs, two three S packs, four six S packs. He's got an up. I mean he can he can make anything you want, you need. If you want one for you know running twelve S, contact Milo. He can make you one for twelve S. Get you what you want, what you need. Um, he has different. Uh, the this is the uh, the new two. two this, is a, this is a new two S pack that uh, he talked to me about and I told him if I could change anything in your pack and he took that into consideration. He came back with his, his counter engineering and we deemed that exactly what we needed. And these are the new three cell um, uh, hybrids that are coming out of flash packs uh, from Milo. And, and I'm telling you, man, if, if you don't got one of these or you're building a new car, or you're building a second car and you're, you're up in the air, you don't know, you know what, what, what capacitor pack to get, go ahead over and visit flash packs. Flash packs. I know they're on Facebook. They have a web page. Milo uh, has his own. If you have any questions, reach out to Milo. He's super nice. Or us too. Out. Or help. Yeah, exactly. Or us Rest. too. If you just cannot find it or you're having trouble, <laughs> get a hold of one of us. I will immediately, within minutes, put you in contact with Milo and get that done. So um, if you don't have one, what, do you, what should you do, Ricky? Get you one or get beat by one. Get, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, hey, straight up. There's, a, got, reason, there's, there's a reason why we're putting our names on it, and it ain't because of uh, a, 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 you know, a, a couple flash packs. It's, it's what's in that flash pack. They work. Um, so if you guys really, really want a good product, um, and what are some of the prices? Uh, the, the two S packs, there's two versions. There's the two, the, capacitor. The two capacitor and the three. Two capacitor is going to run you, uh, I believe, 25 bucks. Right and then uh, <laughs> it's about 9,400 UF. And then the the newer one is uh, the three capacitor about as a 14,100 UF, which is about 35 which about 35 bucks uh and he calls packs. these the 2s packs but they will handle 2s and 3s pack or well they're two 3s packs two, two, or two, two 3s, 3s yes uh the 4s you got he's got 4s packs four to 6s packs that run 35 bucks and 8s packs are 45 bucks glitch busters he has glitch busters that are nine dollars each and available when you buy a flash pack if you don't buy a flash pack you have to buy i think a minimum of three glitch busters to uh get one but if you buy a, a flash, uh, if you buy one of the capacitors, he'll he'll send you one of the uh, glitch busters for nine bucks. Okay, so this isn't a guy that just sells uh, uh, capacitor packs or cap packs. Okay, um, he's the guy that sells the best cap packs, as far as I'm concerned, and he sells cap packs for all kinds of racing with all kinds of battery sizes, and he also makes glitch busters. Explain to us what a glitch buster is. That's for your when you're. Uh like your servos you have twitchy servos or whatever it's a basically a capacitor for your servo to keep you to keep your power constant so just like what the capacitor does for your motor it does for the rest of your system so you don't have weird twitchy stuff that you know your car gears off all of a sudden because you can't because you lose power in your uh in your servo the the glitch buster will help uh the glitch buster will help keep you uh keep, keep, keep you powered up okay so again you guys, two awesome products. We're trying to help with our format here. Him sell these packs and get his name out there. And they are the best. The reason why we jumped on this is because we didn't just say, yeah, cool, you're gonna give me a, a pack 
Uh, one of them, awesome. That's awesome because you know what? I I don't need a free twenty five dollar part. No, he was nice enough, so thank you, Milo, for reaching out with these. Um, the reason why we chose him was after the testing. I hadn't run my car in three weeks because all the COVID stuff. I worked for the police department. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. And last week, I said, you know what? I'm gonna charge two brand new Phantom Racing battery packs available at PhantomRacing.com. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to go out and test this thing. And I was just going to go run my car just because, you know, just if you go out and run your car, you know, you, you, you can say you've tested it and it works good and it's in your mind uh, until the week goes by and you, you got to, you know, do that again to yourself to prove that it still works good before a race. Um, but at the last minute, I said, you know what? I, I, owe, I owe the guy to try one of these out. And I took my handmade uh, RCRI chassis, um, Phantom Racing and Hobby Wing Racing uh, uh, outfitted. Um, $1,600 drag car and I soldered in one of these flash packs to it and I was not disappointed I immediately came home. I looked at the data. I called Milo um, And we you know, we, we did a little bit of wrapping back and forth and, um, and And we put a deal together and this is just awesome. So we're pushing these because we believe in them guys um, If you guys want a good product at a decent price go pick you up a flash pack. Okay, so um, uh, Another thing Phantom makes uh, is is some pretty trick little fans. Um, what do these fans cost retail? Uh, I think they're about sixteen bucks. Okay, sixteen bucks. They're aluminum. They're the big fan. They're forties, right? Forty millimeter. Um, they're really nice fans. Uh, he, I didn't, I didn't even know they had them on the website, and uh, and he came over tonight to show them off. And I was like, hey, can I buy one of those off you? I don't want to for one. <laughs> what do you need hey, three for? Look at looking down at my hands, like, dude, just give me my fans back. <laughs> Holy crap, what is that? No. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Phantom RC products again, guys, we, uh, we're really lucky in a lot of ways, but we're really, really lucky that it just happens that, you know, four or five of the biggest companies that, and, and some small ones too, um, but whether they're big or small, these are products that all three of us with our complete heart, we believe in these products. These products are going to be with us every step of the way through 2020 and hopefully more, um, and we're gonna constantly be evolving products and always coming out innovating and coming out with stuff new, like this spoiler from Shark Bodies. I mean, this is, you know, who else is doing this? Nobody, you know? Uh, if you don't like it, well, cool, grab some Lexan, but here's where I'm coming from. Not only do you have the adjustability and a really, really streamlined water jet cut part, um, but you also, it takes me a good hour to hour and a half to make one of these spoilers. It's 14 or 16 bucks for the Lexan. And then it takes me, you know, two to three hours to make one. And then when it's all done, it's a great wing. It works great, but it's not adjustable and it's all hand cut. And this one is cheaper and, and it's ready to rock. It's 040. Uh, it's the same thing we run. There's no reason why, I mean, this is just, I, I'm, I mean, I'm almost not even talking to you guys anymore. I'm just mirror image of each other. They are, and they're, it, it's just an exact, uh, an exact science here. There's no more hey. And you know the thing I'm proud about is I can see a design that I made, some backwoods, you know, stuff that I made, and a lot of people laughed at three years ago. Well, it ain't so funny now because a company is making them, um, and it's it's really really awesome that I get to be part of it. I feel so blessed. Um, I think all these guys feel really happy uh, to be a part of that with me and, and, and to be excited to run these cars. I'll tell you what, I told you guys my, my number one goal. Everybody can do a 75 mile an hour hit if it's, you know, just pegging it all the way and holding it open. But at 132 feet, the car that wears this body, my challenge to myself personally is to really, really innovate the crap out of these cars in the next couple months and get this body right here. Watch out for it, because this S550 from Shark Bodies is going to be the first NPRC car in the nation in the 70s at the 132, guaranteed. I'm going to do it, and that's the body that's going to have to get me there. Squeezing a mile an hour out of these cars when you're already running on the ragged edge is, is you have to do 10 more improvements, and even then you get a half a mile an hour. So to jump from 64 or 65 or whatever is we're running right now, uh, if we were running, because none of us are, um, you know, to jump that into 70, it's going to take so many changes and out of the box thinking. And that's what these bodies are. I needed something that was low slung, something that was lightweight, something that was aerodynamic, but yet still blunt and all the right, perfect joining of places. I need a spoiler that complemented that exact same design, um, which just happened to be one of the spoilers I make. 
Um, and we put all this, me and Paul raveled all this up together, and this is what we're getting ready to release, and it's huge, between Milo at Flash Packs and Paul uh, at, at SharkRCBodies.com. Uh, we got some really exciting stuff out there. Now, right now, at this point, is there any questions from anybody about um, any of these products? Um, I think a lot of the small chit chat questions, um, like, you know, exactly, you know, how much is the smaller wing or this or that, um, which I don't have here to show you. I will next week. Um, you know, stuff like that. That stuff can all be answered by Paul, can be answered by going to the website. Um, and please do that. Reach out to these guys. Join us in this this march that's getting ready to happen to 70 miles an hour. Because, um, you know, you're going to be either on the train or sitting at the depot. And the choice is yours. So, um, again, sharkrcbodies.com. Uh, Pete, uh, Paul Peterson and Milo. I can't ever pronounce his last name. Carvalho. Carvalho. Milo Carvalho. Great kid. I've talked to him a bunch on the phone. Um, we, you know, we message each other all the time. Um, and, and we're just constantly, he, he's the young mind. And, and so is Paul, too, because Paul's kind of thinking outside the box. He's a dirt oval guy. He's like, I don't know anything about this drag racing stuff. So, Paul, if you're watching, buckle in, bro. Uh, Milo, if you're watching, buckle in because this is going to get wild this is going to be one wild two second ride <laughs> so um is there any questions what's so funny they're saying we need a glitch buster on our video it's glitching oh it is gl wow that is weird <laughs> we're doing oh. a techno dance maybe it's not me maybe it's a hologram <laughs> <laughs> this one's not doing it maybe it's your phone Some honey uh, his phone got the Rona. <laughs> well, David had the same problem. David's phone might be drunk, though. Jay Fitch says we need a glitch buster. <laughs> Milo, you heard that? If you have a glitch buster that works on an Android, Plug please, the, yeah, or a, a, an iPhone 9 or whatever the hell he's got. <laughs> okay, so. Um, the Mustang, the Caddy, then comes the Dodge Challenger. Then I don't know, we haven't really talked about the Camaro or the Monte Carlo. I think that the Camaro is probably going to be a better seller, but you're going to have those um, because it's a little bit more aero. Um, the Monte Carlo is a great looking body, though, for a Monte Carlo. Um, those too. I'm not a Chevy guy, <laughs> but I love all things 80s, and that is an iconic 80s car. It really is. So um, it's right up there with the Grand National and the Fox Body Mustang. And I mean, that's that's I, as iconic as it gets. So, um, <laughs> Milo, I says, Hi, I can make anything you need. <laughs> How many people we got watching? Oh, we got 19. 92. 90? Okay, here's another thing. So, if you guys haven't noticed, um, we have finally, Randy has been nice enough to do the homework and start transferring the videos that we've always... They're all on there. They're all on there. All the videos, all number eight, except for this video, nine, nine which will be there, all are eight. all oh. there. Um, we had so many... Some of, some of the, the, the shows got... 4,500 views, um, and this usually happened overnight. We have some of them that are up to 17 and 18,000 views on Facebook, and they had 8,000 views in 20. We'd wake up tomorrow morning, and they'd have 8,000 views on We're like, oh, my God. So this has gotten really big. I've had a lot of problems reach out. I mean, we see a lot of what? The same reoccurring stuff. Me and Ricky were talking. He's like, man, we're seeing the re same reoccurring stuff, and I'm going to continue to help people. But it's like we went over that for a reason, you know? Well, it was kind of our fault that it keeps reoccurring because we've never put these videos in one stationary hub for everybody just to reach in and get exactly what they want. Um, now. And now you can do that. Um, so, shh. Hey, shh. Thank you. Um, Kaite. Um, so anyway, what is the uh, the YouTube channel called? Street Cars of the 707. It's not called 707 no. Street Cars. It's called Street Cars of the 707. You can search either way. It'll okay. pop up. Randy is in the middle of watching the videos all over again, which is a long peak because <laughs> most of these are two hours long. And in going back and labeling them, like one... Uh, uh, we got one, one that's uh, aerodynamics. Aerodynamics and this, and that's what is the heading. The next one is, uh, uh, you know, uh, batteries and motors or whatever it is. And it, yeah, and, where's and, your and, list? And, and he's trying to get to that. So, Smarty. <laughs> um, our first one is suspension. Our last one was suspension. There should be a plethora of the best advice for the newcomers or the guys having trouble. And that's who we're here to help um, that are that are going to um total brain fart i was already thinking about the next thing i was gonna say and it just totally <laughs> left me why don't you do something different um yeah we can do that okay so ricky tell us what 
He's won. No. You gotta Tell do. Us. You gotta do sound effects. Oh yeah. No, it's this one. I know. I know. Thank you. Please shut up. Um. So we put up. Okay. Keep that, keep, keep that yeah. up. So we put up another background picture contest. Um. And we have, as of right now, me getting this. I like getting little. Can you guys do this more often? I feel like I'm really, really important when you guys do that. Tear up your little pad to give you out. Yeah. Yeah. He loves okay. love notes. So we, we, I can send it in the form of a spit one. <laughs> oh, right in the forehead. We put out a background photo contest again. We're going to be doing a lot of those. Um, and we have a winner. Um, our, we, our winner is uh, Jason Bragg. Jason Bragg has got a uh, a wicked looking little um, El Camino Intercom. here with, oh, little, hell with, yeah. with, a, with a blower sticking out of the hood. Um, it's 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 a phenomenal job. Um, Talking about Jason, the strings there, Jason. If you're out there, uh, yeah, he's a big. El, his first car <laughs> was an El Camino. He loves El Caminos. I personally love them too. Um, oh, and uh, shocker, the car More looks the awesome. The, uh, the weight. Let me see the picture again. Okay, so he's got a blower. He's got a big yeah, that's like an Aussie style blower. Um, he's got it set down low. It's it's so red it looks like it's on fire. Is it in a scale garage? No, no, it's, it's on not. A okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a garage. Like Turn the back. It's on a countertop. Okay. Hey, gotta show it again. Yeah, show it again. Quit hogging so, it. So Jason Briggs, good uh, good looking car man, and you win our um, our background photo. Actually, I had a um, it's it was. Up uh, there. Robert Knighton nice. of Robert Knighton of KV Kings reached out to me and wanted to make us a logo for our 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 um our page on Facebook, 707 Streetcars, and that's what you guys saw me put up there today, the black image of the 707 Streetcars. Well, that's going to be back up there, and that will be our our. I, I want to say we'll agree right now that that is our go-to background in between yeah. drawings, and that is our home screen. Um, but we are going to run these backgrounds. It makes the guys feel important, like all that hard work. Somebody's acknowledging it. And tonight, we're acknowledging Jason Bragg. He's got 14 likes. He wins the contest hands down. Um, and again, until 8 o'clock next Friday night, um, we will have... Actually, you know what? Here's what I want to do. Is I want to change the way we've done it. I want the winner from now on... Sorry, Jason. Um, to go until, say... Sometime early evening Thursdays. That way we can put our background banner back on there, get people at the last minute on this page. We gotta do this strategically. So Jason has won it from right now. It's currently the background of 707 Streetcars. Good job, Jason. It's up till next Thursday. Then it comes down for the next guy to go up. So let's keep these going. This is a great little game to play. And I like games. I wanna play little games. Um, we want to do this all the time. We want to do drawings. We want to give stuff away. Um, we want to, um, there's another thing I've been kicking around with these guys is I want to put a build together. Um, please comment in the comments uh, what you guys think about this. Um, to those of you who are watching, people that watch this after, please you know contact me or us in one way or another and tell me what would you guys think about building a car and then raffling it off, and then we want to donate the proceeds to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So that's something that we want to work into our program. Uh, it will be coming soon. Um, worst comes to worst, I'll make it happen all on my own. I know these guys will be part of it, so I won't have to do that. Um, but uh, I, I think that it's it's time that we have come far enough that it is time that we give back. And you know, I, I'm head over heels in love with my children, as Rick is his. Um, and no child should ever have to be six years old and have leukemia or you know, or be blind or, and so the medical attention that it takes to take care of these children, um, that for my is, yeah. is absolutely awesome. Um, so St. Jude's uh, Children's Hospital, you know, if that's something you guys would like to see, if you guys, you know, we'll do like a, like a 50 spots at 15 or 20 bucks for a fully built car, uh, RCRI chassis, maybe we'll do something like that. We'll throw some good gear in it. Uh, we'll purchase out of our own pockets, um, um, phantom stuff and, and, and deck the car out and tune the car and, and maybe mount and balance a body of your choice and, uh, you know, and leave it unpainted for you or, or whatever we do. Maybe it'll be a crawler. Maybe we'll, we'll take a poll on it and see what people want um, in a raffle like that but I think that there's a lot of you out there that have children there's a lot of you out there that have big hearts and um, and I think that a lot of you probably want to see that happen so that's coming um, also there's been a couple questions realize. on the sizes of the cat packs the the two both the two s packs okay that weighs 48 grams I already weighed it 
Yeah. Jeez. The, <laughs> that one that one weighs thirty two. But there's a size comparison between the two. That's a two two and so both of these two, are gonna be two or two or three heads. And here's where you would go the difference, okay? And that is if you're on a list and you're only running like me three or four times a day, okay? Then I'm going to go with the smaller one because it's lighter and it's all I need. I'm only running my battery for one race and the car goes back and gets stripped down for the next race. That's all it runs. It's on the list. If you're an eliminator round of 30 or 40 guys and you're, you know, slaying warriors off left and right to get to the golden ticket to call out number 10 in your area's list, um, then you're going to want the three because like any cat pack, once your battery after seven or eight races towards the semifinals or the finals gets down to... You know, 801 or 792, um, e e even the best cat packs, which these are on the market, um, you, you could see a low ripple because the voltage is just period not there. It's not tricking the speaker control anymore. It's just not there. Well, the three will actually make the car go a little bit longer without rippling. A little more capacitance. A little bit more capacitor. It's a little bit more charge. So that's what the difference is between They're the all put together with 10 gauge wire. At least really nice wire. Has, uh, yeah. At least the two, three, what? The fine wire. Like yeah. all the other autom uh, automotive. Uh, their RC car wire that we use for all the speed controls and stuff. And yeah, I mean, so far so good. I ain't complaining. Um, I don't like it. I like it a lot. You know what, Jamie? If you could do me a favor and take these fine Phantom products available at phantomrc.com. Phantom Racing. Racing.com. I don't know why I always want to say. You know why? <laughs> you know why? Because Shark and RCRI is, is, is racing. And Phantom are. You know what I'm saying. See, look, Shark, way, right? Shark RC, RC bodies, and I'm, I'm already into saying that. So everything's RC. This is RC. This no. is an RC. Emma, are you okay in there? Yes. 10-4, good buddy. <laughs> that, that really worked. I just figured that out. <laughs> Say hi. You can have well, one. I want that one. Give me one of them. No. You got your two over there. The only difference is... <laughs> That one's Something with the wrap, those two are a gram lighter than all the other ones. One gram. No, I get one. <laughs> Here, give me one. Give me one of those. One of those has tape on it. Sharing is oh, caring. Do? No, you don't get that. <laughs> that one has tape. If you're worried no, about a gram. <laughs> I want this one. I this one looked and said, "Hey, Dan, Dan, over here, over here. I really want to live with you." <laughs> So, hey, no, at least I'm it. making cat packs talk, and I'm not talking about peeing on electric fences and eating dead camels. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, my God. Just saying. Are you going to have them sticking out your window like you did? I did. Time? That was awesome, huh? <laughs> um, I am so stoked about Shark RC bodies, guys. I really am. And these flash packs, it's just one more puzzle piece to make me get to 70. So... This is awesome. I'm almost, uh, you know, I, I sit on one of the, if not the fastest, lists in the nation. I sit on the 707 uh, list the currently. <laughs> <laughs> which, wait, which one was which? Did you just do that, that one? one. Uh, I you're... just did this. Oh, okay. Oh, you're my God. Oh, so, but you it love doesn't them. matter. It doesn't matter. It just has a little bit less rubber on it. Is all. It's okay. Whatever. You'll be um, okay. Here, you guys can take. It. I don't care. Oh anyway, my god! <laughs> flash packs and, and RC bodies. You know, just one one more one more puzzle oh. piece to the uh, the goal. Anyway, um, on the list I sit on, I sit number one still, um, and and that is important to me. It's not as important as having fun. Um, and and my own personal goals and a personal goal that nobody has said you have to do this nobody has said you know no you can't do that or it's not you're not capable of doing that is something that is is my own fight internally and i want one of these cards i want to see the sevens um i i want to i want to see you know 132 at you know two 215 or 220 flat on a real no prep car. And it's gonna probably take a little bit more than just the bodies in this too. It's gonna take, you know, the next generation of tire to come out. That's our next venture is to, is to reach out for, you know, through tires, you know, and we're gonna be contacting companies like uh, Panther and what's the other one? Raw, Raw Speed. Uh, there's another company with tires that, that we haven't tried yet. We're not, we haven't tested them. Um, if anybody, this gets- Hold back, up, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> just then. What? Somebody told me to look at your messages. Wow. wow. Yeah, buddy. Okay, can you share? <laughs> okay, so Paul Peterson of RC Shark, uh, RC Shark Body or Shark RC Racing Bodies um, just just messaged me and 
told me that um, he'd be on board to help out for the St. Jude's raffle. So, Woo! you know, it's not just stuff that we love to run and we want to run. It's the only stuff we'll run. It's, you know, we're, we're getting to deal directly with these companies, which is super exciting, and get to bring it to you guys, which is super exciting. But to deal with just downright good dudes like that, you know, I'm, I don't care what color you are, where you come from. If you're a fellow American, I'm going to help you if you're the next one in line. And... And Paul just, I mean, I've spent hours on the phone with this guy. He's a very intelligent guy. And for him to reach out, that's just, Paul, thank you very much. That's um, awesome. We need to change the subject because I'm going to freaking cry, okay? <laughs> um, Do you want me to go get you a tissue? You know, Paul uh, Paul recently uh, lost his wife to leukemia. And uh, and I guess that must have struck a chord when I, when I brought that up. I lost an uncle about six months ago, very, very close to me, the old cowboy Tony. Tony Jacopi, and, uh, and he, uh, he had leukemia about four years ago, and he beat it, um, and then it came back about six months ago, and within a couple weeks, um, we were going to Tony's funeral, so, um, you know, cancer's no joke, you know, uh, none of these diseases are any joke, so, you know, for a child to have it, it's even worse, so, um, thank you, Paul, from the bottom of my heart, you just, I mean, your respect level went from here to... Wait, hold on, let's get up there. So I can't reach up there, so, <laughs> my hat is off to you guys, or to Paul, thank you very much, sir, um, Shark RC bodies, guys. I mean, this is it right here. Look at the, this low slung design. Uh, I'm able to fold it just the same way I want um, with my other bodies. Um, it just, I mean, this this spoiler design is just absolutely ridiculous. It is my same design. So what? This comes pre-drilled. This will bolt to the back of the body. This is the end back here uh, for your kick up right here. Um, and it's adjustable. So, I mean, it's just the stuff we're bouncing off each other and coming up with. It's like, God, could it get any better? You know, I mean, this stuff is awesome. Look at this Cadillac body. Grab this Cadillac body. This thing's mean. Like, if, you're in, <laughs> if you're into GM cars, that thing's freaking mean. That thing's going to work. You know why? It's aerodynamic in just the right areas. It's blunt in just the right areas. It's got a nice long nose and a nice long sweeping back. It's flat. There is no turbulence or, you know, funky looking wheel wells or anything like that for the air to go around or turbulate around. This is just a dart. It's a rocket. It's going to cut through the air. It's going to win. So I am so excited to be on uh, on board with Paul. <laughs> Looks Paul's like you awesome. have a head. <laughs> um, what can I say? And Milo too. Uh, Milo with flash packs. These things are awesome. Um, let's get into a little bit of tech. And then after we do some tech... We're going to have the drawing for the wheelie bars. So first thing, if that is on the tripod, could you please hand me, actually, you know, first take this, Ricky. What do you want? Thank you, sir. Go. And uh, I want the car and the tools that are right there. Oh, gave me one. Okay. Oh, it's still on me. <laughs> Good God. Okay, so this is my daughter's. This is another thing that's coming, guys, to Sonoma, and I hope it catches on. I got the idea from the guys up north in California. Um, this is going to be the 12 turn Titan car that my daughter's going to drive. As you can see, it's very low slung. It has a, you know, a same similar setup to our cars. Um, it too has an RCRI wheelie bar, soon to have RCRI chassis, but that's not what I had at the time. The, the sponsorship is fairly new. Um, but this car for a 12 turn is it's just a little rocket. She's going to have fun with it, dude. Just so you know, if this turns out to be more fun, I'm going to start racing with the wrong hand. It will. So and here's why. What? Like a kid racing? Because like, I, yeah, wrong hand, not good. Pick your trigger finger? That's fine. Go right handed. Do you know what he's talking about? Oh, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 if this turns out to be funner, here's, I'm going to race wrong handed so I can race with these kids. <laughs> here's what he's talking about. We run stuff like these big eight scale cars and we have a, a local off-road track at Kelly's and, and these things rip and we really rip them around. The thing is, is some of the cars aren't equal. They, you know, they're different builds and different this and different that. Well, I bought a bunch of these stock 27 turn Mubachi 540 brushed motor Tamaya cars and they're frogs and a Nova Fox and I got a couple of them and the reason why is because they're exactly the same speed they do exactly the same thing and yes it's true there's a lot of I mean I'm a mod guy I like going as fast as I perfectly can you know with my head on fire however spec racing there's some really cool stuff when when you get two drivers that, or three drivers or whatever that really know how to drive and you guys are dicing and it's like come on dude i'm gonna get you you know that's the green room as a surfer would say of the rc world to to get to feel that when when you're you know at the uh, utmost point of your driving skill and someone else is 
and those two cars are perfectly equal and it's a good battle and I'm hoping that the kids can get good enough at this that they can get that high off of that too because it's a great high. This is the kind of stuff you want your kids to be doing. Um, this car didn't cost hardly anything. The chassis is from Jake's Performance Hobbies. Um, it's uh, This is actually one of his first uh, G10 chassis. I, I was a leftover that I got from Rick uh, from a kid. And uh, and he makes carbon fiber one now. I think they're what one hundred nine bucks. One hundred and one hundred nine dollars for a beautiful carbon fiber chassis that's double debt. Reach out to Jake. Jake's got some cool chassis. I personally am an RCRI guy. That's what's going to go into this car. That's when what's in our cars. But they are good chassis. They do work. So um, probably one of the better chassis other than RCRI that I've seen. You know, if there's ten of them out there and I didn't have RCRI, I'd probably be running one of these. That's, so that's the chassis. I made it to number seven. There you go. First the time out. First, First time, time out. out. And our list don't don't play. The guys that come out to Sonoma County, you better hit bullseye because the kid don't play. I mean that that you know it's it's pretty cutthroat on our list. Can you set these over there too, please? And I can say the chassis are pretty strong too because my wife hit a fence doing about <laughs> sixty five. <laughs> Hey, we went out with a bang, okay? Yeah, okay. Now, the cool thing, the reason why we got this car here isn't because of the kids' class. The reason why we got this car here is because people are buying what we're saying to buy, and I, I'm seeing it over and over and over again. How do you bolt this together? How do you do this? I'm going to give up on this thing. This thing's just, the pieces just don't fit together. All these pieces back here for the wheelie bar are the same as on our car. She's not using a very fast motor or a very fast speed control, but she's got a Proline tranny. She's got an RPM bar. She's got the the Judd triangulation going on here. And uh, and she's got an RCRI wheelie bar, which is the same attachment as the Jake's bars or the STRC bars, if that's what you got. Um, but, you know, I talked a couple times about looking down the front of the chassis and making sure that bar catching one of these lines with your eyes, if the bar was perfect or if it shot off one way. And if you get one of these little shims that i'm going to show you off an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch shim down here is going to be a quarter or three eighths of it being off down here uh you know it's just like my arm if i move my shoulder an inch my arm just or my hand just moves six inches it's the same thing so the longer something is the more it's got to be true um why don't we let ricky why don't you start by taking the rear wheels off of that car and uh and these guys here, the triangulation bars, and just bend them over up through here so they stay up. Um, I need the tool. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, the wheelie bars are really important on these cars, guys. Um, and some lucky person's gonna get a set. Some, actually, will you do me a favor? Will you move? Oh, I hate to do this, but will you please move all those boxes? Just so right there. Sure, this might like show this. <laughs> no, I want to get the ones in there. Yeah. In the back. Yeah. Down at the bottom. Yeah, I got a lot of gear over there, man. I forgot the. That's only ones four. I have my nice wrenches if you want oh, to use them. Five. five. You said there was ten. Let's just rub this tire. I don't even like. Ten. What are you going on here? What? <laughs> What's up, Daryl Hayes? Zach Zimmerman's watching. Joe Sharp is watching. Bob Tarvin's watching. I want to give another shout out to a, a young lady and her son, uh, Kobe Shutter and uh, Jill Miller down in Texas with the RCDRL. Um, great people, man. I mean, I, I gotta tell you, uh, Steve from RCRIs from Texas, Jill is, Kobe is, uh, Randy Lathrop, an old dirt oval buddy of mine is, and, and everybody I've ever met that ever comes out of Texas is just a really good person, man. You know, I, I'm out here in California and, uh, and, uh, what? you know, I went down to see my daughter in, in Arizona last year and we flew in one night and I woke up the next morning before anybody was awake and I wanted to rock star. So I drove in the Safeway and it's seven o'clock in the morning and I walk into the Safeway. I've never been in here. I've never been in the state before. Um, and thought, trying to find the rock stars, I was passed by like six people, like uh, two customers and like four people that, that worked there. And every single person was like, hi, how you doing? Nice day out there, isn't it? And I was just like, I was like, I'm not used to that because I'm from California and I'm like that, but people just aren't like that. Um, so it kind of caught me off guard and I was like, wow, that's just how, you know, just a different breed around here. So, uh, it was, I think it's the same kind of thing in Texas. I don't know if it's the, I don't know if it's the political grouping. I don't know if it, I don't know what it is about. Maybe these, it's something in the water. Maybe it's something in the water. Too many people in California drink Kool-Aid and it's not the right kind of Kool-Aid. Um, but, uh, yeah, I want to give a shout out to them. They're, they're really good people. Oh, that's what I wanted. Um, Robert Kinney. Robert Winter, 
Tony Cortez out in Vegas. What's up, baby? Uh, David Vieira, we know you're watching. <laughs> uh, how many are viewing? Oh, my God. We got 98 viewing right now. <laughs> that was a double R freaking... <laughs> Uh, my phone's just blowing up with friend requests, and, and it happens every time. You guys, uh, another oh, thing, too. Brian said hi. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I wake up to a minimum of four or five messages. I get right back to the people. Sometimes I text them back before I get out of bed. Uh, at, at, at 5.45 in the morning, uh, I go to work. Um, if you message me at 9 o'clock, I try and get to you right then and not wait till my break. Um, by then I'm already talking to 10 people. Um, I, I, I've gotten one or two mixed up in the last week. I was like, look, man, I, I, if, if you're, if you're messaging me about my, my, you know, a problem with your car or a question about any of our stuff, that's fine. I'll always I get back to everybody, which is a full-time job. Um, but you need to remember that I'm always talking to 10 other people. If I don't get right back to you within the next five minutes, um, and that I'm holding down a full-time job for the police department, 10 hours a day, and I'm raising two kids and I'm doing it all by myself. And it's, it's a lot of work to, um, fulfill the questions of a nation. I'm happy to do it. I'm proud to do it. I'll keep on doing it, but just remember at night, guys, I got to sleep, please. Thank you. Um, okay. So what do we got here now, Ricky? A what borrowless got, car. A borrowless car. <laughs> Dude, you took the bar off. I didn't say take the bar off. Well, it's off. So this is these bad boy RCRI. Now these are sold. This is pictured here. This is the bar right here that you're going to be winning tonight. Some lucky drag racer out there is going to be winning. With um, all the hardware needed. With all the hardware needed. Now this does not come with these wheels. It comes with big ball bearings. Um, that's really, really good for a really super smooth surface. I would suggest in using these bars because to me, they're the best bars in the freaking world. But the ball bearing bars on some of the surfaces we run on, don't um, they're almost too fine. So, you know, your, your pavement we're running on has, you know, unevennesses in it, you know? And, <laughs> and, and the, the, at a hard hit, the bearings will follow that and, and can, might not always because it is a little thing, but it, it can every now and then we'll throw the car off on a launch. So I suggest going to the Traxxas wheels with these bars or these ones. Now these <laughs> are solid too, <laughs> but these are Delrin. Now a Traxxas wheel with a tire and the bearings weighs 32 grams. 32? No, 26 grams, 26 grams. So 26 grams for one wheel, one tire, and the two bearings that are in it. These two wheels with all four bearings together, the whole setup, okay, weighs nine grams. So this whole setup weighs a third of what one Traxxas wheel weighs because if it's aluminum, it's bigger. And these are made out of Delrin. They're, they're indestructible. They slide around if they need to. You don't have to worry about tires coming off. These are also available at RCRI, RC Racing Innovations. Get a hold of Steve Negri or go to RCRI. Logo looks just like this on the website. Can we actually... Can we put this on the other side of the chairs? Yeah, there we go. We should have been doing that from the get-go. So, um, we need to take this apart, show them how we put it together, and remember how to put it back together ourselves. <laughs> Guys, I've done 25 or 30 of these, and I'll tell you what, every single one's a little bit different, um, <coughs> and it just takes time. So, um, let me look at it real quick. So do you guys all have the same barber? No, I'm my own barber. Oh, so I Randy did everybody's hair. Barber, everybody's I did barber barber right Emma now. is my barber. It's called the COVID cut. The COVID cut. I'm always bald, so it ain't nothing special. It's okay. Your beard makes up for it. Yeah, no, I got more than that down here. I actually trimmed it down from last time. <laughs> Get a little buck wild. I was taking some pictures. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long week. I'm taking notes. Right. What the heck are you looking at in that one? Okay, so as you guys will see, this is the Proline training with the RPM mount on it. Now, just like the RPM chat or uh, RPM gearbox does, or the HR aluminum gearbox does for the stock transmission, it has some kind of piece that bolts to the back tranny to mimic the wall that the Traxxas tranny has there that wraps around the motor. Um, this one has one too. It's this black plastic piece. Anybody who has a Proline tranny knows what this black plastic piece is. It comes pre-bolted onto this. Um, and this, if you were just 
to hold this up there, it kind of doesn't make sense because if you just bolt it to it, it's way over to one side or it's tweaked or something doesn't fit right. And there's a certain way to do this. So why don't we go ahead and explain. We're going to have to take it apart. So uh, it is in the two middles, two on one side, one on the other side, and one on the bottom. So we're good. Go ahead and take it apart. Now, if we can take now it we're apart doing surgery. and leave this on the chassis, that would be awesome. Thank you. Here you go. I might um, take the whole car apart. <laughs> <laughs> the front wheels are coming off. You know that you know. Here's what it is. I spent 20 minutes getting my daughter's car just full launch, full tilt, to go perfectly straight. And it was a perfect harmony of wedge in the shocks and a tweak in the bar and this and then that and getting the steering right and everything. And it was perfect every single time. No steering at all. Um, and we're taking it apart for you. It's already set up, and I'm completely disassembling the car to show you guys how to do this. I'm so used to these reversed magnet motors that are pulling the tools. <laughs> so, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Gilly. Do you remember that, <laughs> Gilly? <laughs> no, okay. I'm for my time. Right. Um, what was this show with Fire Marshal Bill? Fire Marshal Bill. Saturday night. Damn, that was good. Wow. So, want to answer any questions? Or flash packs. Yeah, give me some questions going. Flash packs. Contact Milo. Get you one. Um, right here. Shark RC bodies. That's what's up. That's the new stuff right there. Um, this thing's just gonna be putting people on wax. I mean, um, I should have given you my gun, huh? Reep, reep, reep. <laughs> Try and lay them out so you know right where they went to. He's like, oh, now you tell me. I got nine bolts out already. <laughs> mm. So Ricky's almost done here. And I should have taken this apart before because I don't want to show you it as we're taking it apart. I want to show you it as we're putting it together. Um, I think that's easier for some of the guys. So it really doesn't even feel like my garage is open. I got a nice breeze. It's warm in here. Emma, you good? <laughs> okay. Nothing's on fire? No. Okay, good. No. <laughs> She's on <like>, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there she is. You want to come say hi? Yeah. No? Yeah? Hi. Say hi, Emma. Hi. <laughs> who is this in here? Ricky and Randy. The 707. Who's who? Because your dad doesn't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, guys? Yeah, where's the O? Oh. Where'd that come from? I took it out and set it in front of him. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we know. We need the, we need the Jeopardy music. Commercial break. <laughs> Brought to you by Flashbacks. <laughs> 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 Copyright Stray Bart, not to be used confused, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Uh, Shark RC bodies, guys. Uh, Phantom, phantomracing.com. Nice toys. Man, get you some Phantom stuff, dude. I can't. I, I've had just the last week of of seven or eight guys saying, "Dude, I got this new motor. It's just, oh my god." And I'm like, you know, and, and I have other guys that have, I've taken my tunes and their speed control. I, I'm actually nice enough to give them a really ripping tune. And I spend an hour on the phone with people. I do that five times a week. I call, I get calls from Washington, Florida, you, you name it. And I spend an hour on the phone with guys going through the, the parameters of a speed control and giving them a really good tune. And they go out and they go, man, it's just, you know, they're using the right battery. They got the right tune. They got all the right parts. The car's going straight, but they can only get 54 miles an hour. And I said, what motor are you using? And they go, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, there's the problem, man. Get you a Phantom. These Phantoms, they're just faster, man. There's something about them. Uh, it's a lot of things about them. It's the polarizing with the magnets. Uh, it's the efficiency and the, 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 the mill design of the can. Um, it's the hybrid bearings he's putting in them. If you choose that option, um, you know, he's got more motor options. It's almost like a plug and play. You pick these and let's see out of this, I want those. And I'll take two of those. And then he puts the motor together and sends it to you. And they're just freaking ripping um okay that's johnny five disassemble 1982 camaro <laughs> do you remember when the robot had the guys camaro out on the lawn it's all taken apart. yeah there you go no, that was my favorite movie <laughs> i got it on tape you want to watch it later <laughs> oh, boy. that's what we're giving you guys i don't want to know what's happening later okay so what do you guys <laughs> oh my 
<laughs> what you guys have here is a naked pro line, okay? Uh. <laughs> so here's the piece that I was saying comes with it, okay? And the first thing you're going to notice when you put this RPM mount up here, okay, is that you're not going to know whether this arm, Which side does it go? this bent arm on the RPM, does it go, does it go in between? Does it go on this side? Does it go on this side? Because it's kind of in the middle of everything, okay? So the first thing I do is I take this off the tranny and I put a little notch in it. So normally this would have been straight up. You see, can you see that little notch in the camera? Yep. Can you see it in the camera? Yep. A little notch, okay? So I grind a little notch, okay? And what that's for is so that when that gets sandwiched in the tranny, this side of it and the rest of this are all in a perfect level plane because this gets bolted in between this and the motor plate, okay? Then after I notch this, this has a solid back wall on it from the factory. And this hole is tight enough for a screw to thread into like it was a nut. So after notching it, what I'm gonna do is not only make the hole bigger so a screw doesn't thread into it, it just pushes through. Then I'm also gonna take that same drill bit and push it all the way through the back of the wall, okay? Um, the reason I like to do that is like to have a nut up there. I, I don't want I don't want it to just rely on this plastic. So once you get that part done, you're gonna have. I'm falling asleep over there. Hold on a second. I almost got. Oh, oh that was <laughs> <a> good. <laughs> Epic almost, fail. Almost got it. Can you zoom in on this? That's what it's gonna look like. You see what I just achieved there? So I cut the notch in the, in, the, in the front side of this so that the blue piece would fit in between and not push this out. And then I drilled all the way through it and through the back hole so that I could put a lightweight aluminum screw and nut. Oh, that moved, hold on. This is harder than it looks, okay? And this goes right through all of them, just like that, okay? Can you see that? Okay. So um, the other thing you need to do is that this hole, no, that hole's not threaded. Okay. So that's what you need to do. You need to notch this, you need to drill a bigger hole, and you need to drill it out the back. Then why don't you put it together to that point, Ricky? <laughs> aye, aye. You want me to do it? No, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to bore you guys while you wait for me. You know, I like helping people out, guys, but I'm also a firm believer in, you know, I I grew up and I wasn't very good in high school, and I was really, really good in some subjects, and I actually got my GED at 16, and I was taking 14 credits at a college at 16 years old. I mean, I was pushed out, you know, I was with these 20-year-olds, I was, you know, felt well out of, I really excelled in school, and I couldn't sit there and watch you do it. I couldn't sit there and read it out of a book, but if you give me the tools and you let me do it, um, I'm gonna learn, and I think that a lot of people in this sport, um, I think will benefit from stuff like I'm making Ricky do and doing it on their own. Ricky has put a couple of these cars together. He hasn't put 25 or 30 of them together, but the more I can let him do that, the more it's like second nature to him. Same thing with stuff like the gearing and some of the stuff that I go over with the chassis. You guys, you guys got really got to pay attention to the car and you got to you got to learn what this stuff does. Yeah, he's talking about wedge. I don't know what that means. Well, ask me and I'll explain it to you in a really, really easy way. So you go, oh, I get it. That makes sense. Um, and that's what it's all about is understanding your race car, having a relationship with this race car where you know what she wants and you know how to give it to her where she needs it. Um, and whether that be in a, a suspension adjustment or, or, or a re-gearing or, or whatever it is. So, so now you see we have the completed assembly, okay? So the black piece is still floating around in there. They're both still floating around, okay? That piece is gonna go there, okay? And this piece is gonna go right down over the top of it. Now, if you notice, that's a good starting point, but if you see how it can wiggle, so you better get the next part really right. Um, and what I mean by that is if you look right here, this is the next spot I have to bolt to, and I have to bolt it to this and to the black piece all at the same time. But when I put this down, there's a, I don't know if you can see it, there's a gap right there. So I gotta make sure that I get that gap perfect without pushing this out or sucking this in, which is gonna move the wheelie bar. So how many of those did that take right there? It was two, right? Two. 
Okay, so the next thing he's going to do is he's going to take two, what are these, eighths? Two milliliters, looks like. Okay, so these are, these are, this is two two millimeters for a total of four is what I came up with with this build that's going to fill in that gap between the blue piece and in between the blue RPM mount and the motor mount before it hits the black plastic of the RPM rear motor guard, okay? So here's... Here's your two millimeters, and as soon as he puts that in, oh, here's, I don't know which ones you need. Um, now, I believe I made that go all the way through. Yep, and there's a spacer on the other side, too. Okay, so, where's the, where's the pencil at? So, what we're talking about here is this next portion of the RPM mount <coughs> is here. He's got the two two millimeters here that fills up this void, okay? Then he's got the motor plate, then the screw, because this screw is pretty long. It's going to go through the, oh, it's going to go through the black proline piece, okay? Then I have the blue piece back again over here because it wraps around. So there's also a gap over here, and that one only took one, right? So this one here needs one blue two millimeter <coughs> spacer. So blue RPM mount in the front where the motor is, two millimeter, two millimeter for a total of four, then the Proline motor plate, then the Proline motor guard, the black stock guard, then another two millimeter spacer back into the RPM with a nut on the other side. This screw is that long, it goes through everything. Um, this is... <laughs> Did it feel right? So as you can see, that's a pretty uh now what do you need? There's a micrometer up there. What the hell is that? I got it. Thank you. I didn't. It's not a, it's not one of those. We can do it right now. Sound like a microphone. Well, I screw on the phone. Explain yeah. to them then, because they're gonna run into that too. So what he's saying right now is when the bolt gets through the RPM mount in the first two millimeter ones, okay? When it goes into the motor plate, the, the aluminum motor plate, the aluminum motor plate in the second hole down is, is threaded. So you have to put all the pieces together and make sure they're sandwiching correctly. Now, where this is located is on the back portion of the pro line towards the top mount. This then comes up here and has that one piece that goes behind that we notched, okay? And that's where that screw is with that nut that we just went over a minute ago. So this is the next you hole down. Those tips on it, Drew. I don't. <laughs> Quit one person and put the car together. <laughs> you know what? This break brought to you by ginger ale. <laughs> Cold yes. ginger ale. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> wow. There's a place down in Novato called Teeters and Shat. And Teeters and Shat is a really high dollar upholstery place that was right across the street and still is from before my grandpa, God rest his soul. Um, my grandpa had a big multi million dollar company called Dependable Plastics and Patterns. And we met Ken 40 years ago. He's right across the street. And uh, I still go down there for the city of Novato when a cop car seat gets ripped up or whatever, I bring it to him. And. Uh, I, don't know, I got I got his his name of his company in my head one day and I like made a jingle in my head so I sang it to him when I got there and he just thought it was hilarious. He was teeters and shad, teeters and shad, upholstery. It was awesome. <laughs> oh oh <laughs> so, if you need any jingles done, I'm your man. <laughs> uh, again, guys, Shark RC bodies. Next big thing. We Where's got the, the jingle? We got what? What jingle? Shark Jingle. Shark. Shark. Oh, um. oh. oh. <laughs> look, we play in some deep waters in these MPRC. We're we're the fastest guys out in the ocean. We're some of the fastest guys. And if you don't want to get bit, you better have one of these on because there's gonna be some sharks in the water. How about that? Boom. Does that work? <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> I'm gonna put a fin on mine. I'll, I'll play the Jaws theme in my in my pocket as I walk up to the line. Don don. <laughs>
Shut Tell up. me that's not intimidating. Front of my challenger body's now gonna have teeth on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? I see <laughs> a challenger side. that was gray, like uh, like battleship gray. And it had those. It, you know, it had the uh, the P fifty one Mustang teeth on that's, the side of it. Yeah. yeah, that's what you should do, dude. That that's what mm -hmm. I would do. If I was have Dodge. That'd be cool. Is that like I think the F bomb? No, the F bomb. I think the F bomb Camaro has that. On yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's a real car too. Yeah, that car's bad. <laughs> How bad is it, Randy? Don't forget the spacer. <laughs> I know, I'm getting there. Almost there. I can take it off. There take it over. Are there you sweating yet? Dude, I'm yeah. dying. Look, That's hey, fam, Troy, I'm sorry, I gotta take this off from it. <laughs> um, obviously, with COVID 19, everybody knows barbers and salons aren't open. <laughs> so we all <laughs> shave our heads. I get, Except me. Yeah, yeah. I, was, uh, <laughs> uh, I was the first one to do it. I was, I got home from work and I just felt like Willie Nelson on tour. And I just, I, my head was just sweating and it was hot. And I said, Emma, come on, we're going to go out back and you're going to do something to daddy. And she's like, huh? <laughs> so we go out and she does, I'm like, I explained her what we were going to do. And she's just got this big wide eyed look on her face. And uh, I let her run the razors right through the top of my head. And I look up mm -hmm. and I say, does it look good? With just one row out. And she looks at me and she goes, Daddy, I want your hair back. And it, was, <laughs> it was, yeah, I said, baby, it'll grow back. But this is the COVID-19 haircut. It's the illest stuff. Yeah, um, we got it over here. We got then, it in the middle. Yeah, Ricky, Ricky joined We got it over us. here. This my is not the COVID card. This is the face. normal. This is the Randy. It's, it's the Randy look. Randy. It's not COVID. I'm, I'm a little light on top, so I just shave it off. And remember, he's not also a member of the Hair Men for Club or whatever, <laughs> but he's also a member. Or however, else. he's the founder. You know, some people can have a member. Some people can pull it off, and you pull it off, dude. Like uh, Bruce Willis. You know how many women in America thinks Bruce Willis is sexy? Here, let's you know? zoom in on you. Oh yeah. Um, who's the other guy from Fast and the Furious? Uh, uh, Dominic Toretto. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, him Walker. too. No, but the uh, the British the guy. Oh. Jason Statham. Jason Statham. The transporter. Uh, the Rock. That's the transporter. I mean, you so know, you're the transporter now? Um, I don't know if this is working. I just personally like holding a gold mic. I think it's awesome. No, it you're in like, definitely Mala, in stereo. Mala. Okay. Inch blades on the on the Mala. <laughs> oh my god. Now we're gonna Now it's karaoke. <laughs> okay, so Ricky, show us what you did. Tell us what you did. <laughs> Put the center bolt all the way through with you're the You're gonna spacers. have to take it up and show it to him. So here is the RPM mount. Here's the screw right here. It goes into this hole. And then it goes through the two two millimeter spacers for a total of four. Then it hits the threaded hole in the pro line. Then it goes through the pro line motor guard, the plastic black guard right there that we attached up here and had to notch. And then it has another two millimeter spacer before going through the blue RPM mount again and then getting a nut on the back side. So that whole thing is sandwiched there, okay? So let's go to the next uh, the next step. Oh, you guys good in there? Next step is easier to view. Okay, so show us about the, the next one. The next one is the third hole, the last hole on the Pro-Line tranny. You're gonna put a screw all the way through. And once again, another blue spacer. It's gonna go right it's there. It's gonna go right there. Okay. Now, some people are looking at this little aluminum piece and going, too. what the hell is that? And I'll tell you why. Even with all this all shimmed up perfectly, and this right here, what we just showed you guys, is how you're going to dictate where that wheelie bar shoots out at. Okay, that was really, really, really putting it at a 90 degree, okay? And I, I took some time, but, you know, it looks really easy because I got a spacer here and two there, and they're all the same, and they're all blue. That's because I've done this a bunch of times. If you have to stack washers, these are the increments. So... Uh, two millimeters on one top or four millimeters on on one side on the motor plate side two millimeters at that center bolt the bottom one here at the bottom of the motor plate the third and final hole of the pro line motor plate has this plastic piece needs another two millimeters there and the pro line and when you put them all together there is a amount of of uh, flex right here between the transmission setup and the chassis and you don't want that so what we did is we just this chassis at full compression on the drag car my chassis is still that high off the ground a quarter inch off the ground so this will never hit the ground and what this little aluminum piece i made this out of just a piece of sheet metal and and broke the little ear over and drilled the holes and and, and countersunk this one the best i could because it was so thin and that is connecting that is triangulating the bottom of the chassis to the pro line motor mount so it doesn't wiggle in and out to this to this to this it's all one piece now so that's what we're accomplishing there 
We do it on it. all our cars. Now this one's one step further. This one has an attachment from the chassis to the assembly, but then transfers over to this side and has another aluminum piece from the assembly to the other side of the assembly. So that's even one step further. And where that would be would be right here. That's where he did that. So he took this chassis bracket and ran it over here instead of the two millimeter uh, spacer, he has the bracket there, the ear that bends down and goes in there. And then over here, he has that little bracket. And that's what, that's how all our cars are set up. So uh, it really yeah. adds to the stiffening. And for the most part, the back end is what you want to be solid on this car. You want everything triangulated and touching each other so that there's no flex in the thing. We'll get started on so the next part. Go ahead and yeah, <laughs> get that put Way to on. be on top of it. Is that this one? Yep. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna have to go out and run Amos car again. <laughs> I gotta reset it up. So, um, how many people we got on here? 73 people. 74. When will the Cadillac bodies be ready? They'll be ready next week. So get your order in now. Um, that one you drilled out. Looked good. Cool. <laughs> what if you run the STRC? The STRCI. Or the STRC, STRC body, the uh, uh, wheelie bars. Uh, I'm assuming those are the aluminum ones? The so, aluminum mount, Okay. Yeah. Those are going to bolt on to the rear RPM Traxxas wheelie bar mount the exact same way. We haven't even... So that, that wheelie bar, Jake's wheelie bar, the carbon fiber ones Jake has, the RCRI bar, they have the same four hole patterns. I think Jake's has the adjustment slot at the bottom or something. They're a little different, but... This bolt pattern is the same on all the tracks of setups. So what we're doing again is we're laying the foundation for your STRC or your Jake's Performance Hobbies bar or your RCRI bar um, to go out the back of the car straight. So we haven't gotten to this yet, but yes, to answer his questions, they all, um, they all, uh, they all bolt onto the car the same way. So um, your brother said losing people, 70 watching. That's fine, because you know what? We're going to get 5,000 views by now. Got 75 now. So, whatever. Um, let's yeah, see Randy's David, car. David's always the, the glass half empty guy. Let's see Randy's car. What do you want to see? What do you want to see on Randy's the car? The wheelie bar mount? The wheelie bar mount? The RPM mount that I made work. What are your thoughts on the RCRI Ooh. Pro Eliminator Slash Chassis? It is a slash chassis that is next generation. It's an amazing chassis. Um, we still haven't even gotten ours yet because, to test it because Steve is just thrashing on these Black Widow chassis and that's what he's doing right now. Uh, the, 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 the Black Widow RCRI chassis and the Black Widow 2.5. Um, um, I have a 2.5 on the way too. Daryl Hayes says no, the mount, not the bars. That was the mount. Um, he must what if, be answering someone else. Oh, okay, so... They're having conversations. You know, he's talking about the art... Uh, the, uh, SRTC? The SRTC mount right here. Um, I highly not recommend running one of those. Uh, uh, well, I don't want to badmouth the part. It's a nice part, and it's a rigid part. However, it is as heavy as three of these, and it, it, it's, it's aluminum. And the problem with aluminum, like A-arms and stuff like that okay. is... If you get a hit and it doesn't break, you don't know if it's tweaked, you don't know if it's bent, you don't know what's wrong with it. It's it's aluminum. So um, it, it's to me, I would never put that on my car because it's too heavy. Uh, it, it, it's it's I don't think that it will keep its trueness over time. Um, but yes, technically, if you wanted to do the same setup here we are doing with that piece, that piece is designed just like the RPM piece to bolt right onto the back of the Proliner, bolt right on the back of a slash Traxxas transmission. Um, and you know what, I've never actually bolted any of this onto a Traxxas slash transmission. I, I have heard that they just slide right on and you don't have any shimming issues or anything like that. I don't know why these do other than the fact that that black plastic piece for the Pro line was a last minute thing and they just said, well, we gotta put something back there and they made this little, you know. Uh, something I, to cover the motor. Something to cover the motor. So here, why don't you do that? I'm getting lost in all the, uh, let's take some more questions. <laughs> What's your what's your thoughts on on the RCRI Pro Eliminator slash chassis? Yeah, I told him we haven't gotten one yet. 
So I, I from what I've I seen. Stuff production. Oh, oh Bob so Bob uh, Craven says uh, this STRC aluminum bends really easy. Yes, it does. Okay. So it's pretty soft. Though. I don't know. I've never bought one. So yeah. Um, let me tell you first of all, STRC, STRC makes some really nice stuff. All this kind of stuff that is. Uh, Five axis uh, micro machined on on these five axis machines is just it's beautiful work, um, and we do run the STRC uh, rear uh, shock tower on all our cars, and we went over that. We like it because it's rigid. We like it because it's 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 light for aluminum. Uh, we like it because it's thick, and we can drill into the side of it for these bars. Um, and it's just it's on all our cars. They come in red. They come in green. They come in blue. Is that all? Silver. Silver. Natural. Okay, so now we've got the top one done. We've got the center one done. We've got the bottom one done. This thing is on there true. It's on there solid. It's tied into the chassis. What's our next step, Rick? Mount the bars. Let's mount the bars in this bitch. I mean, on this car. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it kid friendly. And I'm a mechanic no who's more worked, shop talk. Yeah, who's worked for 25 <laughs> years in shops, and all week long we're doing shop talk, and it's hard to, it's a bad habit, so I apologize. Um, I will watch you do job site. Yeah, and, and guys, too, on, I want to mention, too, uh, it wasn't anything bad. Somebody did it. They were just playing around, and it was a funny meme. Um, it, it was a, it was a, a thread today uh, on our page, and, and people were chiming in uh, with, with, with some pictures, and they were all funny, and one guy did a picture that just kind of wasn't appropriate. I would like everybody watching and please pass the word around. We have some young ladies that are on this page that are RC racers. Um, we want to respect them at all times. The, we are not just a, a group of men. We are a group of men and women and ladies and gentlemen. Um, so please guys, keep it, um, keep it R rated on the page. Um, R-rated? R -rated? I mean... G-rated? Yeah, keep it G-rated. How about PG-13? Yeah, all PG-13. Ages. Yeah, please, guys. Uh, you know, just remember that there's young ladies out there. Um, I wouldn't want my seven-year-old to look over my shoulder and see something on my own page and go and not know what it was or not know what to think about it or see something too pre prematurely. Uh, um, so please, guys, keep it uh, keep it clean. Um, just keep it clean. right back to where you had it. There you go, baby. Shit marks. Exactly. All right, Milo. Thanks for uh, watching. Milo's jetting off. He's East Coast, so he's. Thanks, the Milo. Head. Again, flash packs, guys. Dude, get get into Milo. Get your order if you if you're just building a car, or if you are wanting something bigger and better and better, or you're looking for the next best product. Dude, expect really good stuff out of these packs, man. These packs are awesome. It's all we're run. All our our whole fleet is getting transferred over to these as we speak, if they haven't already been, um, and they're just the best. So. Um, thank you, Milo, um, and uh, and have a great night, brother. What about the STRC aluminum bar mount? Is it just weight? It's weight. Um, it's fatigue over time. Um, it's it's not nearly as impact resistant. Um, you're relying off of a thread aluminum piece. Um, I mean, there's I, I could sit here and nitpick it apart, but I don't want to because it is a nice piece. Um, if you want, if you're going after that shiny aluminum look for more of a show car look, then that's the piece you want to get. It's a nice piece. Um, it's it's not you know what what looks a lot nice and what's cool and what's what's bitching sometimes isn't always what works the best. You know, everybody sees NASCARs or Indy cars on, and I know this because I come from the professional racing world. They see these shiny NASCARs flying, you know, at Talladega, whoa, 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 by the by the by the camera. And when you are a mechanic or a crew chief and you're down in that car, man, there's little pen marks and hash marks and everything. And there's a scratch or a scrape here. And, and these are race cars. So, you know, it, it's not about what's the prettiest sometimes. It's about what's the lightest, what's the fastest, what is going to achieve a win. So that's that's numero uno is what's going to achieve the win. So, Jordan, I personally have not tried trimming a LCG chassis down. I don't run tra uh, Traxxas. I don't know if these guys have. Uh, I have. I had a buddy that did it before he bought a carbon fiber chassis. And it made it dramatically lighter, and it worked. Um, he never crashed the car, and it didn't stay like that for very long. I wouldn't see it being very durable. I mean, you get in one bad tangle with it, and you're going to break the car in half. I guess it depends on how much you lighten it and how you lighten it. Oh, well, from what I've seen, they just cut the sides off. Yeah, he's on here commenting. Uh, Daryl, you should post a picture on the 707 streetcars of your chassis so everybody can see. Because he's lightened, uh, he's lightened uh, two of them, I think. One's pretty wild, and the other one's... Definitely lightened up, not as wild as one of them, but 
Uh, oh, Sam Spinelli. Do you have, do you, Dan, have you ever had an XR10 Pro work one day and then the next day not come on anymore? No, and you know what, I want to touch on that. I need to reach out to them. Um, the majority of the guys these days are running the XR10 Pro G2s, the second generation XR10 Pro. And the only differences are, is the G2, the new one, has an extra port so you don't have to use the on and off switch on the speed control. And you can have a remote port and it also has reverse polarity protection. So if you accidentally use using bullets and you accidentally plug it in backward, it won't hurt the speed control. As to where the legacy, it will get hurt. Other than that, they're the same. They're the same uh, software. It's the same speed control, and with a legacy, I've never had that problem. Now, with that being said, excuse me. In the last two weeks, I've seen several of these things happen. If you haven't already tried this, the first thing I would try is remember that new G2. One of the selling points is it has a port for an on and off switch. So reach out to Hobbyway North America, purchase that $10 switch, plug it in, and see if that switch fixes the problem. Now, I'm, I'm assuming that if it just didn't, you know, I think that the problem lies in the on and off switch and the board uh, that's in the speed control. Um, and it does have a port for another switch. So if it's not turning on with the one with that other switch, chances are there's nothing wrong with the speed control. It's just the switch is bad, which sucks and you can get fixed. Um, but that's what I think um, would be an immediate fix for it. Um, I would love for somebody to try that and get back to me, but this is something I need to discuss uh, with some of the, um, the ties I have with Hobbywing. Um, again, XR10 Pro is all I'm running. Uh, it's a great speed control. I, I, I uh, and nobody else is, is sponsored by Hobbywing. Um, I've always run their speed controls from, from day one. Um, I've never had that kind of problem with one. Um, the only problem I had with one was self-induced by running too low turn of a motor uh, with it. Um, you got to remember, guys, you know, I tell people every day, how many times we tell people a day, stay away from the two fives, stay away from the threes and the three fives. Go with a four five. There's nothing like thinking you're going to be faster and buying a 3.0 turn motor and turning out it's not any faster and you've lost torque and you spent 100 or more on a motor when you could have just bought the 4.5 and been done with it. So again, brings me right back to Phantom Racing. Go to phantomracing.com, get a 4.5 turn motor um, and, and be done with it. Um, so, you know, if you, if you got the remote on and off switch and you plug it into the port and it still isn't coming on then yes i'd have to say you're gonna to have to go into hobbywing north america sir and probably uh fill out and start the rma uh process um and get the thing sent in and looked at um i don't know if it's a coincidence it's the three or four i've seen in the last two weeks uh, from people having the same problems um or if it's something in their on and off switches or what but i'm going to try help get to the bottom of it so that's what i got to say about that we got new zealand tuning in new zealand wow that's huge um, I don't even know how to say hi to somebody in New Shane Zealand. Shane Miller. Shane Miller. What's up, Shane? All the way from New Zealand. Wow, that's huge. Uh, I'm touched, man. That's awesome. Uh, I hope that you guys can get anything out of our videos. Again, uh, Street Cars of the 707 on YouTube. Randy's been nice enough to uh, put all the videos up. He's still working on getting each one labeled so you can go right to the video that you of the, the part you're trying to work with. Um, and hopefully we've covered it. We cover a lot of stuff on our shows for everybody that's using different equipment and so i hope it you know we have some hoopla here and there some laughs and some jokes but you know um again we're not we're not peeing on electric fences so <laughs> or, eating camels. or eating camels so inside joke so um what have we done now bars are on so what he did was he took the um the four screws for the the bar and he's bolted those on. We use washers on ours. Uh, it just gives it a little bit more mounting surface. It's, it's, it's a lot better. Um, and uh, and where do we, when we first put the bar on, Ricky, where do we want to start with the bar? Up. We want to start with it all the way up. Now, there's one more thing that we forgot to put on here, which you're going to really hate me for, because now you got to take those long-ass screws out again. What? Shut up. What did you forget? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Hey, I do it all the time because we put them back. They're, they're CD to get them out this is something I started two years ago <laughs> and much like the canards and the big spoilers and people are like, what are those, bro? And it really caught on. A lot of the guys at my local hobby shop at Jake started doing it. Um, they noticed now the reason why I'm going to, we do what I'm about to tell you is watch. See, you see the flex in this thing. That's no bueno. You don't want you don't want your car to be doing that. So show us how we how we fix that. And that's with the little aluminum piece tying it to the chassis. It's still flexing like yeah, it's, it's a... 
I looked at these screws and I'm like, man, I don't remember them sticking out that far. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. That's the first thing I thought. I was like, oh, okay, you forgot those. <laughs> Some Tennessee guys, some Memphis guys. Some Memphis, Memphis huh? And what's the other guy? Any Memphis guys know JJ the boss? Tell them to build an RC car. I'm calling them out. <laughs> 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 Off with their heads. <laughs> no, I watched the show. Uh, I know a couple. There's a local guy who's been on Street Outlaws a couple times. He, he runs with all these guys. He's a bad mother trucker. Uh, his name's Sean Burr. Uh, I grew up with the guy. Uh, he's got a, uh, I believe he's, he, I know it's a Camaro. It's a vintage Camaro, 69 Camaro, but I want to say he is twin turbo now. He used to he used to run a nitrous car, um, and uh, yeah, and Sean Burr's up there. He's got a really pretty Camaro, and he's he's out there, you know, in it to win it with all these guys. So, um, I'm really hoping that you know, out of all the stuff that there is to know, it's a lot, man. It's it's a lot to be able to learn all this stuff and buy the right parts and put it all together and make it work in perfect harmony. But one of the things that there is no instructions for, and there is no, is stuff like what we're showing you right here. And I've seen so many people pull their hair out and look like this and that and that. <laughs> because they're like, dude, how do you put this together? These parts don't fit. And you know what? You're absolutely right. The parts don't fit. Um, so we make them fit, you know? Um, and that's what, that's what these spacers and stuff do. Um, I'm even thinking about... I'm even thinking about writing out an instruction manual with pictures and diagrams and photocopying that and sending them to people that want to put these together. Um, there's a reason why we use the pieces we use. There's a reason if you watch our last show, uh, it was last show, right? Episode eight. Okay. That, um, there's a reason why we use the ProLine tranny. Um, so that's why it's there. If there's anybody out there going, why don't you just use a Traxxas training so it all bolts together? Because we don't want the Traxxas training. It's not what we run. It, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a good transmission, but it has one flaw of the gears and the differential. And we went over that, watched the last episode. Um, and so we use that. Um, between the RPM bar or the RPM bar mount and the STRC one, we just went over that. We like the RPM one. It's lighter. It's more forgiving. We put that on there. I went with it. So like, because I was actually... I actually mounted it to my associated car before Shapeways. Anybody, you know, went so for you, tell them that. So for the associated guys, associated guys, there are there are uh, options for mounting your Traxxas style uh, wheelie bar to the uh, to the to both the SE10 and the Pro SE10. I've heard the SE10 one; it's not as nice. It doesn't seem as rigid. But the Pro SE10 one mounts if you you on the on your motor guard. You have the mount right in the middle. Mounts there and up top, I believe up top where the um, the body mount comes down and meets the meets the transmission. It bolts right in there. I reluctant to buy one just because I have mine and I made it myself and I like it. So here's a I don't mean to butt in. Um, so for your associated guys' cars, um, it was up until a couple months ago. It was custom fab again, um, just like this kind of was, you know, and figuring it out and shimming it here and taking it apart and putting it back together and taking it apart again until you get it right. Um, now there is the two companies that make them are Shapeways. Shapeways and I mean, it's just Shapeways. okay, Shapeways RC. No, it's just Shapeways. They do three D printed items. Okay, so Shapeways three D printing. Get a hold of them. Get a hold of Ricky if you uh, or Randy if you can't find them. Um, this is the mount that you want to mount these badass RCRI bars to the back of your associated cars. So I got a question here. I want to touch on. Uh, it says, "Don't know if this has been answered or not. No, it hasn't." And I'm really glad, Frank. Chechi, Chechi, I don't want to murder your last name. Um, it's a really good point that you brought up. He's asking me, um, do the new bodies fit the wider, the narrow cars? These bodies are the exact same width as the Parma bodies, so they're wide. Now, depending on how this picks up and how fast these fly out, I've already talked to Paul. For you narrow guys, we will be making a future bodies or line of these bodies that is narrowed for the narrow guys. So we want to make sure that this takes, you know, the, 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 the plane gets off the ground first, um, you know, before we start altering stuff, you know, Paul Peterson has got great designs in the bodies and they're just going to be total winners. Um, and we like the wide cars. They're more stable. The more stable the car is, the harder you can push it. Um, but for you narrow guys, um, yes, there are going to be some narrow bodies 
and it, 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 it really all depends uh, on how this goes. And I think this, I wouldn't be part of it if I A, didn't want to believe in and run the body, and B, if I didn't think that we'd sell any of them. I think we're going to sell these like hotcakes, you guys. I'm telling you, just borrow one from somebody who does believe us and, and or, or grab their controller and feel the, 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 the aerodynamics and the handling of the car compared to your car with these any of these other bodies, companies' bodies on your car. It's, it's, it's night and day. It really is. Um, imagine doing a 60 mile an hour hit and being able to zigzag between cones down the, I mean, that's how good they freaking handle under full tilt. They really, really work. So get a hold, get a hold of one of these bodies, sharks, shark, RC uh, Paul Peterson. Um, so where are we at now? James, uh, Fleming, the bodies are clear. This is just a protective covering that goes over the body. Yeah. So it's just like any other body. It's got to appeal off masking. Um, Spots it's a little it's tougher that it's fogged, yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's been banged in the corner and but it wasn't as tough as I thought there. it was going to be. It's it, If you get it on a table in your living room or something, to, to my first step is I get the bottom trimmed out and the back for wherever I'm going to go to uh, for the wheelie bars to stick out and then I put it on my table where I can get directly over it and I drop the body on with a lot of light and I get the body perfectly centered and where I want sitting in the wheel wells and then I mark my body mounts and then after i do that i drill my body holes i mount it on the car with the pins or the bolts mm -hmm. so it's bolted to the car like i'm going to run it and then i cut out everything so before i paint my car my cars are 100 percent drilled deburred cut out and then i paint so i don't have to do any cutting after the fact mm -hmm. um but yeah this this is it's not solid white guys it is clear believe it or not um here i know yeah, you can see, you can see the phone through it. So, um, yeah, we will be doing narrow bodies. What else we got? Do do do. do. Um, there's one up here. Won't the DR10 have a usable wheelie bar mount for them? I honestly, I don't, don't know. Have, I looked don't, at it. We don't know. We don't have one. I yet. looked at the pictures. I've seen up close pictures of it. I actually did see the car physically. See the car in Las Vegas. That's a big ass mosquito. Whatever it That's is, a that's a freaking pterodactyl. Leave alone. It's a mosquito eater. And, uh, I don't know. It has the wheelie bar that's on there is adjustable. It looks okay for you know for me. Okay, what are you? I'm gonna kill when he comes over to me. <laughs> <laughs> stock out of the box wheelie bar. I don't know that that wheelie bar that is me. interchangeable. <laughs> that mount will. I don't know if there is a mount on that car that is interchangeable with the Traxxas style. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Right down the end of your drawer. That thing's huge, dude. There's one right there too. It's a mosquito eater. Oh, it's those lights. You know, um, we do me a favor. And go over and just pull the pull the garage door shut, please. Scared of a little bug. No, I just don't want ten of them coming in and going to the house. We're almost done, girls. They eat the mosquitoes. You guys okay? Yeah. Okay, I love you. How many more minutes do you have left? I don't Not know. Many. Not many. Okay, so guys, let's let's jump back into this Maybe. wheelie bar for a minute, okay? So we got our RPM mount. We're all we're all trued. We've taken all our measurements. We've added all our shims. It's sitting nice and <laughs> Thank square. You, Ricky. It's sitting nice and square so that the back of the wheelie bar comes straight out with the chassis. Then what we did here is we added two bars. You guys remember that flex I just showed you a minute ago? Look at this. Most of it is gone. There's a little bit left in there, but it is super solid, especially for a 12-turn car. Um, so these two bars, and what these do is the four stock screws that hold any of the wheelie bars onto the Traxxas bolt pattern um, we take the two top ones and ditch them and add long screws so that we have enough length on the screw to go through the up the, the, the tie rod right here. Then what I've done, again, we, we chose the, RC, uh, the STRC bar because it's wide and I drilled a hole in the side of it and that's where the other end of the tie rod is. If you can see in there, I've got a nut on the inside. Oh, yeah. It fits really well. Um, this side, you want to make sure you don't go down too low, that you are interfering with the shock or that you hit the motor. Over here, same thing with the shock. You don't want to bring this down too far. Um, so what I do is I, and you also don't want to hit the, the, the top shaft coming out of the train. So what I do is I put the two back ones in first, and then I kind of turn the car up like this, and I have a pen in my hand, and I put it right where I want it, and I eyeball where the hole is going to be. And then I take it away and mark it, and then I drill it out, and then there, there's my hole. So this triangulation, now what have we done here? We have triangulated this from the chassis to the tranny assembly, and then from the tranny assembly up to the shock tower. So we've completely made a circle there of parts, and that's what adds this rigidity here, okay? So 
Um, oh, speaking of mini bars, whenever I bought mine from RCRI, I uh, reached out to Steve and was asking him the difference because he does sell associated bars on the website for associate cars. They're the same same cut as the Traxxas ones. They will fit the Shapeways mount. Okay. It, it, it's available for. Well, I think the place. Shapeways mount just converts the back end of whatever you're bolting to on the associated to yes. the Traxxas style. Yes, but if you buy the associated bar, it's, under, it's labeled under, under associated. It, it's the same mount. It'll, okay. It'll mount exactly the same. Gotcha. Good to know. Well, I wonder why he split them up like that. It's the same. Um, bar. I don't know. Just maybe just as a, a thing to catch. So we're the not, associated guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah you're like cool. okay, I'm gonna search for associated because I drive an asso I run an associated car, not Traxxas. So why would I go under Traxxas? This is set up perfect, dude. <laughs> Okay, so that is this in a nutshell. If anybody didn't get anything, rewind the video, watch it again. I think it's all in there. If you guys still, there's another question you have, chime in now, contact me later. Um, what do we do now? We got the whole thing together. Car's ready to go. My battery's charged. I want to go do a rip. Dan said I need to set the wheelie bar. Where are we going to start out with and why? Go. Neutral bar. Uh, up high. Why do you want to start up high? Because down low is too slow. Down what, what, what are the two <laughs> opposite sides of the spectrum? If I go really low, what's going to happen? Blow the tires off. Why? Because it's You're basically right the holding bar. the back If this up. comes down, it's going to hang the rear tires between the wheelie bar wheel and the front wheels. And you're going to lose traction. You're going to spin. So you always start your wheelie bar adjustment with the bar all the way up. Because when it's all the way up, we already know what's going to happen. We'll pop wheelies. You're going to pop a wheelie. And then after you do one hit... And you pop a wheelie, then you bring it back, and you bring the bar down a sixteenth of an inch, and you do another hit, and then you do it again, you do it again. Maybe you only have to do it once, maybe you only have to do it seven times, I don't know. You bring the bar just down enough to where you haven't lost traction, and it's still hitting like it's supposed to, but your front wheels have just touched the ground. Why do we want the front wheels to touch the ground? So you can steer. You're right. If you don't have steering in a car because you're popping, don't get me wrong, wheelies look bitchin', okay? They're badass. But if you wheelie in a race against me and your car veers off one side and you can't steer it, you just lost that race. So you've got to maintain steering. Everybody thinks that 110% of everything is in the back, my engineering and all my hard work. No, the front end is pretty important too. You've got to have steering. So that's also something that is going to translate over into the new shark bodies. The aerodynamics are just enough to where they're not too much in robbing traction from the rear with the aerodynamics but they're just enough to A, not need canards anymore, for all you Judd Nard haters, and also <laughs> just barely touching the wheel on the ground, plus the, the shape of the body allows it to steer. Like I said, I mean, if you had a, uh, uh, at 50 feet out, you had a donut in the right lane, you could launch and drive around the donut and still do your full hit i mean it, it, it handles that good you you don't know how good your car handles at high speed until you run one of these bodies so um so the bars all all up you have gone out and done a hit you've brought it down a little bit you haven't lost traction but you just regained steering at that point my car even though it's got a good hit and i got the bar set in height it's slightly going to the right what am i going to do the bar you're going to tweak the bar so to the opposite side to the opposite side we've talked about wedge if you go out there and you hit the throttle and nothing's being hung up in the suspension the cars put together right nothing's not working everything's working perfect and the car goes hard one way that's going to be a wedge adjustment these shocks in the back are never set up neutral if you notice over here i got about five sixteenths of an inch here of wedge or preload in the spring and over here, I got three quarters. I got three quarters of an inch over here. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because this car was going hard right every time I'd launch it. Well, when it goes when it goes right, it means it's dipping down too hard on the left. So if I give it more preload on the left, it'll hold it up and straighten it out. Okay. Now let's say I get the car pretty damn close. And the car, just it, 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 I'm making a rip and hit, and it's going straight, but it's got a slight veer to it, and it's consistent. Well, you can do the same opposite side adjustment with the wheelie bar, and that's why I like RCRI bars, okay? So if you look at this bar and you notice... Take Brandy out. No, look. It was going, it was going right, so I gave it hard right wedge to straighten it out. Now, it was pretty darn straight, but it had a little bit more to go, and I didn't really want to put a lot of pressure on the spring and, and, and make a worse problem. 
So what I did to hold the right or the left side up so it wouldn't go right is I gave a slight tweak to the bar to help this side stay up so it wouldn't lean over here and shoot left. And vice versa, if your car's going right uh, hard, it's a wedge adjustment over here. If it's going left hard, it's it's adjustment on the right side, okay? If it's going slight left, you can give it some right bar and it'll straighten it out too. If the car's going right, it's a left, I mean, yeah, it's a left, I'm getting, because the car's backwards, so I'm confusing myself. Okay. Or do it towards you. I'll just start over. <laughs> said this a hundred times to people. Um, and I've seen guys always adjust the same side that the car is going to, and you don't want to do that. It's opposite, 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 opposite. So car launches, it goes hard to the right or hard to the left. Whatever way it's going, you give it an opposite side wedge adjustment. The wedge adjustment is achieved by giving more preload spacers or twisting your, your threaded body down um, on the opposite side to keep it from leaning. Um, once you got it going pretty straight, it's got a slight veer into it. You can adjust that little bit out of it with the wheelie bar. Now, why is paying attention to the wheelie bar and making sure it's set to the last pass you just made that was perfect because you adjusted the bar just right? Why is it important that you do that again for the next race? Because it resets from the weight transfer. You're right. So when, I, when I'm relying on a bar being tweaked down to hold the car up, well, when my car is on tilt and it's, and it's really hitting hard on that bar, it will straighten the bar out. So if I go back out there and again, and I race it after it's already straightened the bar, then it's gonna shoot off one way again because I didn't reset the bar. So bar set is everything. It is that last little final adjustment to make the car go straight. So does anybody have any questions about the bars? When are we talking about Dredoval? Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. So, a lot of guys out there are into other RC cars. If you guys notice, I got boats, I got crawlers, I got buggies, I got big buggies, small buggies, I got drifters. The Shark RC bodies all comes from the dirt oval world, okay? He has, Paul Peterson of Shark RC bodies has a whole lineup of bodies that are not only setting track records and winning races all over the nation, but these are dirt oval bodies that have been Chili Bowl approved. Um, they are, 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 are approved for these big races every year uh, in, in dirt oval. Um, if you have a dirt oval car, you're building a dirt oval car, you want to do something other than drag racing and build a dirt oval car, um, go again, go to sharkrcbodies.com. They have the awesomest dirt oval bodies that I've ever seen. These also come, these molds also come in dirt oval. He also has street stock bodies um, in all kinds of, he also has a, a Ford Thunderbird, which I think is awesome. That's I love, a, I love the old, old Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Yeah. Um, so if you guys are into dirt oval, I have a bunch of dirt oval stuff. I got an old, uh, an old side dam uh, late model here and I have my brand new uh, BBE uh, Razor. So I do some dirt oval racing. Uh, what's up everybody at Dirty Dega, all the guys at Dirty Dega, Brian Spencer, um, Ken, um, uh, Dan Sutter, um, all these guys, you guys, everybody, go. if you got a dirt oval car you want to build one man or you've already been racing one and you're looking for something new that works better, go check out the Shark RC bodies. Their dirt oval stuff is off the chain. Um, He's just, I mean, everything that comes out of Paul Peterson's shop, whether it's for dirt oval or drag, is just 100% balls to the wall, win, 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 win. Uh, you know, you have, you know, Paul told it to me, he's all, you know, you got these guys that there's two sides of every, every kind of car racing. I said, what do you mean, Paul? And he goes, well, you got the guys that, you know, care about what works and they want to go fast and they go out and, and, and build the car as a race car. And then you guys have, got, have guys who care more about what it looks like and they're there for the car show. Well, I'll tell you right now, our cars look good, but we're not there for the car show. We're, we're, we're there to do one thing and one thing only, and that's win. And that's what the dirt oval bodies from Shark RC Bodies do. That's what the oval bodies are going to do, and we're about ready to prove it to you guys. So, um, again, uh, we'll be giving shouts out for our sponsors, including Shark RC Products, every single week. Um, you know, Paul Peterson, uh, thank you again for the opportunity to, to, to race for you guys and, 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 and represent these bodies. And thank you for helping us give our guys something, uh, that, that is, is more than what's out there right now. So dirt oval bodies, drag bodies, get your pre-orders into sharkrcbodies.com. 
Um, let's make this happen. So, ain't nothing wrong with options. Nothing wrong with options, yeah. Is there any other questions? Now, is somebody winning a wheelie bar? Yeah, I don't know. Is someone going to win a wheelie bar? Is it time? Okay, it's time. It's time. Let me see my phone real quick. You got 197. Da, 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 da. Okay, so da, let da, me... Da, da, da. Let me get open to... I'll go to random.org. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do our very first ever... 707 Streetcar Flyer. Let me get you all three in here. Why can't I get anything other than that? Oh, it's just searching. Ah, it's loading. A little slow. Well, I gotta get my phone up to the. I don't know. know who it is. Yeah. Do you mind? Yeah. See, with the with the watch party, it's not going up any higher. in the comments. Oh, I see. Okay, so we got 197 entries for the RCRI. Thanks to Steve Negri of, of, of RCRI, RC Racing Innovations. They make our chassis. They make the best, dopest stuff. Um, and we're going to raffle these off to somebody in our raffle right now. Okay, right. Um, you know what? I'm feeling good tonight. Hand me a, can you do me a favor? See that stack of stickers under there? Yeah. Can you, can you see those? Do you want all of them? Yeah. Oh, just the Phantom ones. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I got some Phantom... What? I got some Phantom sticker here, here guys. Um, so I'm going to have the winner reach out to me when he wins in a minute through comment to tell me what color he wants. <gasps> I want a pink one. Not too bad. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you want a pink fan? I'll give you a pink fan. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to put a blue one in with it right now. So that's what the mm -hmm. raffle's for. It's for a blue phantom sticker sheet. It's for RCRI wheelie bars. Um, Let's uh, get the camera in on here so everyone can see it. So we got minimum one, maximum 197. And then we're going to go ahead and hit generate. Let's see generate. who the winner is. Number 131. 131. Is it you? No. <laughs> 131. Be a better than the narrow. 131. Right searching. <laughs> da -na -na -na. Da -na -na. Getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> we are. Winner is Dennis Bush. All right. Get out. Really? <laughs> Dennis Bush. Dennis Bush. I don't, even, I don't even have to. Uh, I don't have to ship them. I don't have to, to ship, ship them. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, Just got to go down, down the street. <laughs> um, we could do a live drop off. Dennis Bush. Um, these will be available for you to pick up um, in uh, by tomorrow morning. Uh, Dennis Bush has won the RCRI 10 inch wheelie bars. Um, he's won the Phantom Racing stickers. Um, these will be here at my house for you to come pick up. Um, awesome. Uh, thank you guys for everybody that, that, uh, that, that chimed be. in and we're going to be having more of these, um, waffles, a lot more of these raffles, uh, soon. Uh, like I said, I want to do the one for, for St. Jude's Children's, uh, hospital. Uh, that just means a lot to me as a father. Um, I want to give some cool stuff away. Um, and, uh. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think the raffles are really cool. It's fun for the guys, you know. I mean, I wanna, I wanna just, just wanna don't just give them a video and this is what we're doing today. I wanna have raffles and jokes and information and new products and and I really, really think that we're at the 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 forefront of the new products. I mean, anything that is right there that's new that nobody's seen, boom, we're at it. Uh, we get we get some of them. We test them out. You know, if if we love it, we we, we use it. Uh, and that's what we use. We use Phantom RC products, motors and batteries. Uh, 
uh, we use uh, Shark RC bodies. Uh, everything's getting changed over because they're just a, a better design. Um, and we, we're using flash uh, packs because they're just, I mean, these things are the bomb and, and, and they're going to be in all our cars. Um, Hobby wing and RCRI chassis and wheelie bars. Um, there's a reason why you guys are winning these is because we're not going to give out uh, any subpar. subpar stuff. I mean, we want top-notch stuff and there are some other top-notch companies out there. This is what we use. Um, and that's why we're giving them away. So congratulations, Dennis. Um, let's give him a <laughs> all right, Dennis. You guys uh, for, for all the other uh, 196 people that entered the raffle and didn't win just stay tuned We're gonna try and do one every little while maybe one every two weeks or something um, You know this one was nice enough to get given to us by the the, the owner of RCRI um, I, I chipped in these phantom stickers um, cause I want them to get out there, but, um, a lot of these, a lot of these raffles will come out of our own pockets. Um, and, and we're doing it for you guys. So, uh, you know, don't be discouraged if you didn't win. Uh, congratulations to Dennis. Um, you know, the video, um, I, that's another good thing. So we, our YouTube channel, um, this video, uh, after we sign off tonight will be taken off of Sonoma County 707 NPRC and uh, it will be put on our YouTube channel. So uh, if anybody wants to uh, watch this again, it's gonna be at our YouTube channel. It's uh, Street Cars of the 707. Uh, you know, type that in, click on it. Our videos will, uh, will, will come up and this is episode nine. So um, we got our winner. We got our new background guy. We went through some wheelie bars. We, we, uh, we introduced two new sponsors and two awesome products you guys i just i can't i can't even i want to go put one of these bodies on my you car went towards the light. um they're they're really awesome bodies in the in the in the in the flash packs and the stuff we use is just it's phenomenal what this stuff goes out when you when, when you when you pay attention to the car and if you choose to listen to some of our, our or, or all of it or a little bit of it um our advice and you put one of these cars together and it goes out and works you're gonna be like wow i see why they use phantom motors and soon you're gonna be like wow i see why everybody's buying shark bodies because you know there's no other body that cuts to the wind like this and has the the aerodynamics like this and and it's just what works um you know so and it's like that with everything that we represent everybody we're sponsored by this is the stuff to go fast with. So does, uh, does Ricky or Randy, is there any more questions? Is there anything else that everyone's saying good night? Okay. Well, <laughs> good night. Uh, thank you guys uh, for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next week. And uh, next week's going to be a big episode because it will be our 10th episode, which is uh, big number 10. You know, the shows, they start out so young and so double cute. digits. They, they grow up so fast. <laughs> yeah. Double digits, man. Um, so thank you guys for, for following us. Um, go to uh, Street Cars of 707. Please subscribe. Uh, pass it around. The more subscribers, the better. The, the, the more people we can get watching, the, more, the, the bigger we can get. The bigger we can get, the more we can help you. And it just keeps going back and forth and back and forth until we're all up at the top. So, and that's what I'm trying to achieve here. I want to make guys that are having trouble, guys that are beginners, get fast. Um, Phantom, that's how you do it. Flash pack set, that's how you do it. Shark, that's how you do it. RCRI, that's how you do it. Good friends, that's how you do it. So have fun, stay safe, um, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>